Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Don't worry, the stream is going as planned, but not as I planned. But anyway, I've been to the dentist earlier on today, I've had two flips, my mouth is swollen, I can't speak. Anyway, we'll cue the intro in a moment, but this will be done a little bit more differently. But anyway, as you might have seen on my last live stream, my chair snapped. Amazingly, it survived the stream. Just. Anyway, it happened at a really, really bad time because money was incredibly low. Also, thank you everyone that donated, that really has helped me out. But unfortunately, I haven't got one yet. I did buy one, but it went back to Amazon's. But in the meantime, I bought this. This is the most uncomfortable chair I've ever, ever sat on. However, I did my 10 things I didn't know back in the day on the Amiga that I do now on this chair. And this really hurt my lower back, so I'm not using it today. So, of course, I don't have a chair to stream with. So the only way is moving my setup from the way it is now to the way it used to until I get my new chair. And what I might do is, while it's there, I'll do a few future videos as well, just to make the most of it. And when I've got my chair, I'll move it back in. So yes, cue the outro, Jamie. But yes, this stream is not going to be done in here. It's going in there. There we go. Hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Yes. Hello. Good to see you. We are back in... Well, I am anyway. Back in the old setup. Yes. Hopefully the intro, if you saw it, will explain that. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome. Hello to Bonsai Monster. Hello, everybody. Hello to Mikey Jensen. Hello, Johnny Cribbs. Bonsai. Hello, everybody. Hello to Rusty James. Hello, awesome moderator. Hello to Michael McCartney, good to see you. Andrew Supply, another awesome moderator. Welcome to both of you. Hello to Max Levin, good to see you. Mikey Jensen, hi Max. Max Levin, good to see you. Hello to Mike Hobbies, no words at all. Of course, England are playing. Yes, there's a certain football game happening today. Yes, England versus USA. I have no idea what the score is. 
Sean so, P, hello everybody, good to see you. And as you guys, hope you're well. Lord Infinity is here, good evening everyone. And Gaming Fang, good to see you, hope you are well. Welcome, how are you doing, Buster James? Hope everyone's well. I hope D's alright, hope Dad's Gamer, good to see you. Back off at your game, no problems at all. Sean P, back in the room, yes. Wonder if Jamie will be set up on the time when the music is finished. Well, actually, that actually gave more of the time to make another cup of tea. But anyway, yes. Hello to Kite City Street, good to see you. Mr. War is here. Hello, Mr. War, good to see you. Lord Infinity, good evening, Mr. War. Lord Infinity, hello. And Sweetest House is here, good to see you. Another awesome moderator. And Flynn, welcome, Flynn Taggart, good to see you. How are you all doing? Yes, yeah, so for those of you that missed the intro, yes, yeah, a little bit different than the normal one, but yeah, basically, because I haven't got myself a new chair yet, I'm basically moving my entire setup back to where it used to be, which is quite nice, I have to admit, but it's very, very cluttered once again. I've got two streaming lights, four screens on the go, Mega, two joysticks, mouse, desk, don't have one, use a coffee table. Anyway, we're going to start off with Night Shift, which you might have seen in my last video, which of course I can get further now because I know how to play it. It's not on the box. Close G, hope you well. Now this game, for some strange reason, you have to plug the joystick in the mouse port. So what I've done is, I've done just that. I've got two zip sticks. Uh, so this should work. Basically I've got a switcher, so the mouse and the spare joystick is going into the switcher. So that should work. Got 22 people watching, thank you. And also thank you to everyone that's liked already. It really is kind of you to do so. 24 watching, of course, yes, England are playing. I have no idea what the score is. If you want to put it on the chat over the course of the stream, please do it, because of course I will not know. Don't worry about spoilers unless it's channel. Unless you really, really don't want to know, then don't say it. But overall, yeah, good luck to England. So I'm not a big, big football fan. I have to admit, back in the day I was. Flynn, good to see you, Flynn. Hope you're well, buddy. Bomb Jack and Interchange. Yes, Interchange is for you, Sean P. I have to admit, I've never, never played it before. Never heard of it before. But I do recognise seeing that character on the CC4 version. On the front case. But there we go. Never actually played it before, but we'll try it for you. It's coming home, is it really? Are they winning it or they won? Gaming fan, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. Yeah, I don't know a single name before. Are you new? If you are, welcome. Good to see you. Tell me more about yourself. Yes, Sean, I do try. I do try my best. Do your shift work properly. Slam the like button. Thank you. We'll be back. No worries at all, Mr. House. Of course, you're a busy boy today. No problem. All the best, buddy, and good luck. Win that mug, buddy. Win that mug. Uh, Raw, how you doing? Raw, Mr. Raw is in the house. Now, of course, changes. Yeah, of plenty. Uh, I haven't done a lot of tests. I have been on the early shift. It's been a bit of a busy week. I've been crashing out after work, so I haven't done a lot of tests. Does it sound okay? Does it look okay? Yeah, and also I can see my boxes, and see my DVDs, see my sprites on the wall, it's fantastic. But of course, it will go back in there, of the question of when's it going to go back in there. James, the wrong joystick. No way, Sean P, I always try and remember what people request. There is football going on, but of course, if you don't like football, then stay here. But we'll do a little bit of football later, drop, later on today, but basically we'll just reenact the football game which is currently playing in sensible, sensible one soccer fashion. England versus Aus or US of A. Thanks for asking my friend, I'm okay. Hello to Geezer's Games, good to see you, welcome. <laughs> good games buddy, we'll be playing some of yours today. Welcome to Graham Cowley, that's fantastic. Really am superbly happy with the games, but unfortunately I was going to do a mini unboxing today, but unfortunately Raw Mail have got a strike here in the UK, so unfortunately it hasn't arrived in time. But, of course, Graham Cowley has sent them. I bought two box versions. But, yeah, unfortunately, we can't unbox them, but we will play them. However, I've not played them much. But, anyway, this is Night Shift, which you might have seen in my last video, and I love it. I absolutely love it, but back in the day, I didn't get far in this game. Now, I'll put a question on in a moment, but, anyway, I hope you're all well. Awesome, Mega Homebrew Games. I'm watching the match games and seeing you pop up. Hope you're well, Jamie, and got, got your packages. Pretty sure I have... It may have arrived. It's arrived at Royal Mail, but unfortunately, due to the strike, I haven't got it yet. But yeah, it's a bit crazy. Crazy times at the moment of time here in the UK. Apparently, nurses are also on strike. Hello to Emma42. Good to see you. How you doing? How you feeling, buddy? I've had a bit of a rough time. Hope you're well. Um, Andrew Shabai, good to see you, buddy, as well. Uh, Mr. Raw, hope you're well, buddy. Max Living, Devil's Temple coming out, I see. Well, it's already out, uh, but if you, have, if you have ordered yourself a box version, you should have received it, or you're very likely to receive it very soon, if it wasn't on strikes. But yeah, it's fantastic. I have to admit, I've only played it uh, twice, actually. I haven't had a lot of time to play it. 
But also, I did buy myself a box version of Bomb Jet Beer Edition, which also was going to unbox today, but unfortunately, again, it hasn't arrived. But we'll play that as well. Of course, that was one of Graham Howie's first ones, and it's also superb. So anyway, if you watched my last video, of course, you'll know that I now know how to do this. This is the bit which caused a big, big problem back in the day. I couldn't get the right constant temperature. But of course, at the top of the screen, you'll see the steam. So when you see the steam, you put it down to the minimum temperature. Then you wait for the steam to depart and you go up to more temperatures. And it should stay there. And that makes the game so much easier and so much more enjoyable. Thank you, Sean P, for the donation. It's very kind of you. What we're going to try and do here is basically we have got to make... Uh, five Stormtroopers. Now the furthest I actually got in this game, which I thought was level 3, but no, I didn't reach level 3 back in the day, because when you finish level 2, you get a small house, and this game is basically, the, 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 the better you do, the bigger house you get, basically, which is what I need to do in real life. But yeah, I didn't get past the second level, but I have now. But anyway, got some problems going on here, got some rejects going on, so we need to get down to the bottom find out what the hazard is, what the issue is. Now your time is of course the candle, which is basically energy and time combined. So of course we've got the heads in the wrong place, so a slight adjustment and you're good to go. Now of course, spread the love. Uh, these bicycle lights play a big part, it's how you generate power to the beast. This machine is of course called the beast. Let's get it running, get production running smoothly in the right order, and then we're going to go back and do the chat and put some questions in the chat. Uh, it's Mr. King Arthur's here. Good to see you, and thank you so much. That was delayed. That was very delayed, but thank you, Mr. Sean P. Very, very kind. Thank you. Let me, uh, fan, I used to watch my older brother play this back in the day. I didn't show you the box, did I? I not got it. Didn't show you it. I don't think I did. But yeah, this is actually my second version. The other one is actually a Kicks box version, which doesn't have quite as much of a detailed manual as this one does. But yeah, it's crazy. It's taken me so long to realise that temperature issue. I don't know how I don't know how some of these stormtroopers go in at different colours. I don't know where that happens because that happens on later on today. Right. So let's put some questions on now. Of course, there's a lot going on here. Right. I might learn a thing or two. How many games do you name which are based on your character's working job? I didn't quite know how to what describe that. But basically, games that involve your character going to work, earning a living earning some money, that's the rules of the game. But I don't think there's going to be many on the media, that not, I'm not aware of anyway. But this is probably the one of the few that I'm aware of. But it's a fantastic game, it really is good. A nice addition to the collection that this box I got a few months ago. Paperboy, yes, good one. Uh, I was actually going to play Paperboy 2 today, I played it for a while, but I couldn't fit it on the post. Paperboy 1, Paperboy 2, and Retro Renoir, good to see it. Beer Tap Up played that, of course, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, good one, good one. Hope you like it, have this. Thank you, Sean Pitt. Thank you. I did play it once, I played it last night, very briefly. Uh, got to level six, but yeah, definitely did not play it back in the day. Um, also one of the games, uh, hope you're well. Stupid raw mouse strikes is causing havoc. Yeah, Graham Cowie, I absolutely, it's, it's just stupid, isn't it? There's so much going on. Navy Seals, I suppose in a way, yes, you are working, yes. Manic Miner. Yeah, great game. Strip poker. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'm not great at those sort of games, though. Pepsi Man. Never played Pepsi Man. I've seen footage of it, though. I'm aware of its presence, though. Robocop. I suppose, yes, it makes sense. Yes, if you're a cop, then yes, you are working, aren't you? Not really earning money, but trying to save the city that you're currently living in, I suppose. Uh, pirates. Mr. Sweet House is there with pirates. I suppose, yes, back in the day, you are a... Jobs are limited. I suppose pirate is probably the best way of doing it. But anyway, we've actually nailed this. Basically, you've got to get a minimum of five. We've got 14. And the higher wage you get, the more happy it's going to be. If you do your quota, you keep your job. It's as simple as that. PB Hammer. I love PB Hammer. He's a magic drill. He goes to the museum. Fort Pepsi Man does his refills. I've never played it before. That was on the... Was it PlayStation 1? Saturn? Xbox? A few ones there. Probably all wrong. But I've got a funny feeling it could be one of those. Bonzo Monster, I hope you're well, buddy, I hope you're well. And um, MJ, I hope you're both feeling better. Both of you have been having a bit of a rough time, but I hope you're both well. Lord of Things, I hope you're well as well. Well as well. All Prod, hello to Warpod2000, good to see you. Uh, after Hedrick Wig, I'm pleased to sit down and relax off with all you all. All fine, thank you. Mr. Hell, Hell the King, King Arthur, good to see you, buddy. Sorry to hear you've had a bit of a rough week, but it means a lot that you want to sit down and enjoy the stream. It's a highlight of my week too, hope you enjoy it. Tapper, okay, guess being Batman is a job. Yes, he is. Well, he's a 
a multi-billionaire, isn't he? But yeah, Bruce Wayne does have quite a busy lifestyle. Right, so now, back in the day, like I say, I thought I got past this level. No, I haven't. Now that ring a ding 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 song will tell you that there's an error. Also, outside the office, it's got one thing that is wrong. I just think the game is really well made. Every time you move a lever in the wrong direction, then it automatically start ringing the bell. So it does perform very well. But of course, that's where the finished products go. You can also adjust that. This one, you also do need to find a match. Also, make sure the conveyor belts are going in the right direction. That one can go down. Speed up a little bit. Ghostbusters, yes. Played on the season four loads. Happy beat that one though. Um, yeah, brilliant game. It's, is it nil nil? Okay. Well, don't worry about don't worry about spoilers. It's not a problem at all. I mean, I do like football games more than the real deal. But back in the day, watch football loads. Right, so that's going into the bin. We don't want that. We want to go into there. Of course, it's not right. It's not going to work. You can plug it in, but this time using match. So over the course of time, make sure you are punishing items. In this case, you're going to need to light it. There we go. GJ feels like working too. It is. I reckon so. Probably not for the right reasons though. And taxi, taxi. Wait for the Steam DuckTales game. You have to earn money to build. Yes, it's a fantastic game. However, I've not got far in that game because my version doesn't play very well. It crashes at pretty much early points in the game every single time. Back to the minimum temperature with the Steam Parts. Total 4. GTA, yes. Not played many. I didn't really get sort of get into the uh, GTAs. Now this one, you've got to try and create two different characters. Um, but also, when you fall, that drains your energy. Try to get down to the bottom. It's not an easy task to do, but also you do have the umbrella or the balloon. Balloon allows you to get it to higher grounds, the umbrella allows you to get to higher grounds. Uh, GJ feels like working too. America are feeling well. Um, ooh, yes, ooh, yes, 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 yes. Prehistoric times, basically, yes, you're in a taxi in prehistoric times. Earn a living, yeah. Right, okay. Now, even picking up items does actually replenish your... Well, it doesn't replenish, actually. You can earn money from that. Um, Puma Bova, I've played that, I think. Only briefly, though. I think that was actually the... Uh, that was on the season 4 Mini, if I remember rightly. So keep those going. Of course, you can get rejects on the way. Every reject is going to be deducted $10 from your bank account. Your wages, we say. Uh, but anyway, we should be good to go now, as long as it just keeps on going. Of course, falling from a height drains your candle. Candle reaches the bottom, game is over. No continues in this game, but you have passwords. Um, oh, I didn't see you again, Bonsai. Bonsai is here. Was Shashman on the media? Good question. I don't know if it is. Certainly on the CD4 it was. And the Spectrum, I think, yes, definitely. And Amstrad, I, no question. I'm assuming it is. Um, me, yeah, I don't think so, but I have played it though. Yeah. Basically, yes, you are a bin man. Doing what bin mans do. Only the living out of it. Yes. Now, in this game, fire is jump. Right, I'll get rid of that now. Okay. But also, when you're in this situation, pick up where you can along the way. It helps the future levels. Trapdoor, I love trapdoor, yeah. Poor old Burke, he has a rough time, doesn't he? I'm assuming he does earn money from that. Timber, fantastic game as well. I've played that on the it's PlayStation 2. I've got a compilation. Uh, yeah, cut down trees. Yes, I have. No, it's on the um, Midway Arcade Treasures, I believe. One, I believe. Yes, well, we'll go for it. Yes. Um, timber, timber, timber. No. Timber. Yes, got it. Yes, it's on number two. My bad. There you go. Arcade, uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Yes, it has Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Gauntlet 2, Spy Hunter 2, Zybot, Knock, ABV. I suppose another one, I'll answer that question. Cyberball 2 is 72, and Timber. Total Carnage, Pit Fighter, Wizard of War, Xenophobe, Primal Rage, Arch Engine, Arch Rivals, Rampage World Tour, 
plus milk, plus milk, plus milk, plus championship sprint, car driving, and what the hell? But yes, timber. Cut along sort of short journey, timber and fidget there. Uh, Little Zach McCracken, I've still never played that, but of course, yes, that is a very popular game. It's, yeah, but I've never played it before. But yeah, it's a good game though, isn't it? Cutting down the trees, avoiding the bear. I think there's a bear in it, isn't there? And then crushed by the tree, yes. It's not a milkman, no, it's uh, he's Fred Fixit. Right, we need five of those, we've nailed that. There we go, and we need three of the other ones. Uh, we all know the bin man wasn't nippy in the houses to fix the TV. Um, yeah, Crazy Taxi, good call. Yes, Space Taxi as well, yeah. Right, we've done it, superb. We've got 3,650, but of course, $50 deducted for any new jet. Now this game does have passwords, and yes, if you're going to use a password, then of course your bank account is going to be zero. So there we go, I never saw that back in the day. So we're now off the mark, Mr. Fred Fixit has now officially got a house. Not a big house, but the house I'm living in is also not very big. But there we go, that's the way you need to do it. Basically, I'm in the wrong business. I need to do this for a job. But yeah, this machine is called The Beast, and this house isn't quite a beast size yet, but hopefully one day we'll try and get there. But there we go, there we go on to level 3, and what happens now, you get upgrades, there's your passwords, got banana, cherry, pineapple, and whatever that one is, I don't know. Blueberry, go for a blueberry. Was there a game where you played a milkman? Probably. Probably is. Um, I mean, there's also Cookie, not technically a milkman, but you're a cook, aren't you? Uh, a plum, is it a plum? Could be a plum. Yes. Right, so now we got to try and make... Five Indiana Jones figures. Plum, it could be a plum, yeah. But you've got to try and now make them the right colour. So yeah, roll up, roll up, get your pink Harrison Ford Indiana Jones figures right here. All we need now is five. Shift three duties. But yeah, there probably is a game where you play as a milkman, I, I guarantee it. Right, so here we've got two errors. But anyway, enough about me people. I want to talk about you people now. How is your week been? The week's been. Fortnite been. It's gone quick, isn't it? And it's crazy. It's exactly a month to die. It will be Christmas. I mean, who's in the Christmas spirit? Who's got their decorations up? Who's finished their Christmas shopping? Who's started the Christmas shopping? Who hasn't started yet? Who leaves it to the last minute? I certainly haven't started yet. Right, pick up the match. However, uh, over there, we've got one error. So, of course, they're going to be going into the trash can. We don't want that. So, quick switch Rooney. Go in the right direction. Um, how does the turtles get money for pizza? Good point. Good point. I don't know. They don't really work, do they? It's a good question. Of course, they try to avoid detection, don't they? So, they've been unnoticed. They've got to earn their money somewhere. So, we use some pink paint, and that bit is done. Also, to speed this up a little bit, we're going to put this in the opposite direction to save a little time. It's certainly not all easier if you've got just the one character to make. So, let's go in the wrong direction as well. But this machine is working. Of course, the heat is not right. We need a match. Should have one. Penny shot down the drains. Press down and fire. Selects the... Come on, Fred. Don't let me down, Fred. This is important. Match. Light the spot some burner. Maximum temperature. Wait a moment. Mr. Raw, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Because you are an awesome friend and your streams are top notch. Mate, that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. And of course, superb dudes. And of course, thank you also to Sean P, another superb dude. Thank you guys for amazing donations. Mr. Steam. Very kind. Very, very kind. Thank you. And I hope you're well, buddy. Hope you have a good weekend. Wait for the steam to part. Two more. And we're good to go. It should stay there. Every time I've done it since finding it out, I've not had any problems. This is a case of making sure the heads are in the right place. The right colours are there as well. There you go. Again, it was delayed. I'm sure I can adjust that at some point. Did you pronounce it correctly, Mr. Law? I don't tend to call you by your surname. How was that in terms of how it was pronounced? Is it right? Right, that's going the wrong direction, Jamie. You've got to go that way. There you go. Right, time is ticking. Two heads. Yeah. I want to see that in the uh, Eno Jones. 
Right, so let's make sure this is going correctly and we'll go and recharge those lights. That's incorrect. Incorrect. You can lose so much time in this game. Of course, the bell's ringing. So a nice touch for the game. It works really well. Good enough. That's fine, mate. Thank you. Hello, trolls. Good to see you, trolls. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Um... Yeah, hope you're well all Good to see you, buddy. I don't think we have a big Christmas. It's not going to be a big Christmas in the Morgan's Game house. No way. Right, now this is a case of hope for the best. There's one, and then five, I think it is. Hope you're well all prods. Hope you're well trolls. Good to see you. Penny dropping down the stairs. I have about four presents so far, so halfway. Treat up next week, I think. That's the same bell sound as the Railway Tycoon. Is it really? I have got that as a box version. This is my mum's loft. Not played out for years. I do like Tycoon games, but I didn't really get into that one. Um, now also, this game features lemmings. Now what you can also do, because they'll actually make you slow, they'll set you slow the character down. It's cool, I know. But what you can do, I do, either kick them, or you use a Venus flytrap. Again, provided you have one. That gives you $75 in this case. Oh, the hamster, it's, well, it's not a hamster, it's a lemming. Basically, if you are hit by the lemming, it basically slows your, your character down. So you can either kick him across the screen, of course you can come back like a bad smell, or you can use the Venus Flytrap, which will take him out of the equation for a short period of time, get your digital money, and of course another one right on the scene. But yes, it does look like a hamster, but yes, it's, it's, it's actually a lemming, yes. No blue rope lemmings on this one, walking off cliffs, no. <laughs> yes. Jasper's in the house, he's probably extremely confused. Yes, Jasper, you probably are. So anyway, we've got the one manual there, which is featured in the kicks one, and we've got this one as well, which again I mentioned in the video. The Industrial Might and Logic, the Employee Handbook. Just but I can't reach the door right now. But yeah, a much, much detailed manual, it's superb. Security panels, security clearances, the shifts. We've got the wrench, the matchstick, the helium balloon, the umbrella, the vacuum cleaner and the Venus flytrap. Part of the company's latest experiments, a hybrid plant, mechanical trap for catching pests. Yes. Thanks, Jamie. No worries at all. Sorry to be so long to realise. Um, now that's dirty money, mate. It's really kind of you. The Coco advert was to TV today. That's for you. It's now yes, of course. Now it's officially Christmas. Yes. It's a great. Ad, it's a great. Ad. It's even to this day. I mean, they, they do tend to tweak it a little bit, don't they? But as long as they don't tweak it too much. So yes, the battery. Um, yeah, we've got the battery, the power generator, using the beast, the furnace, which of course plays the biggest part in this game. Uh, the drive belt bringing fresh supplies of crystals to the solar fire supplier. It must be plugged into the electrical supply. Otherwise, the supplier will automatically shut off and the resin production will cease. What are you guys doing the weekend? What is your plan? It's got the battery, the solar fire supplier, the expander supplier, the resin maker, the resin mixer. The head mould device, the head punch. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll do one more. Pineapple, lemon, pineapple, pineapple. That is your password. Right, let's put another question on the stream. We're carrying on with the letter game, but we've reached the final mark. Um, what are your top three mini games beginning with the letter Z? Yeah. Cra oh, yes, mate, this is the Russian James. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't quite prepared for it in terms of money. <laughs> Zool Zool 2, yeah. I do like Zool 1 a lot more than Zool 2, even though Zool 2 was easier than Zool 1. I still have not got past the second theme on Zool 1, which of course is the instrument theme. Can't do it. I just can't do it. One day maybe, but yeah, it's those pianos. It's just, and also getting lost with a time in it. Lots of Z outs there, yeah, or Z out. Who calls it Z out? Who calls it Z outs? I've always said Z out. Zombie, not played that. So our flash was also quite good. Zap the Kraken, never played it, but by the sounds of it, a lot of people do mention it. It's good. Mate, it doesn't start with a Z, but you're an awesome person. You can do that. You have every... Yes, you are allowed to do that. <laughs> right, now I'm going to make notes on this one because it's very easy to make a mistake. Uh, because we've got two to make. One has to be blue. Uh, so we need four blue. And I'll just put a robe character. Robe character. And we've got a robot character. Four robots just be pink. So we'll go for pink. There we go. 
So yeah, this is when it starts to get quite difficult now because yes, you've got to keep switching colours. Right, so we'll do one more. Yeah, Zen on 2 Mega Blast is fantastic. It's a brilliant tune. It's just a shame that that version, that game, doesn't have more music. But the music is superb. But then, Big Mac Brothers games didn't really have a lot of music, did they? Not many, and of course, Kite G, you're not there yet, but you'll be soon. Right, so we've got two mistakes, two to rectify. Oh, we need power. <laughs> uh, there are quite a few, but yeah, you're right, there's not many. There isn't many, but more than X. Probably more than Y, at its best. Right, let's find the mistakes. Um, right, there's the first mistake, let's go in the wrong direction. Send it that way, that's also going in the wrong direction, let's go into the wheelie bin. We don't want that. Bell's still going, so we haven't found all the forks yet. Um, and also, I'm using my 1200. Um, right, so we need five robed characters. There's another lemming, so we need blue, kicking across the screen. Sea Wolf, oh yeah, Sea Wolf, yes, I think I have a box version of the second. I don't have played the first, I don't think I have. Yeah, Andrew Bry, I know you're a big, big fan of that game. That's also going in the wrong direction. And that one's going in the wrong direction. Quite a lot of mistakes in this one. But, of course, the crucial bit is here. We need to get this thing going. At the moment, it's not doing a single thing. So plug it in. Light it. Um, it's not playing ball for some reason. Match. Uh, maximum temperature once again. Stand up away. Pest Z last week, I'm done, mate. Oh, you've done it! You've finished! How oh, fantastic! Are you gonna miss it? I think you might miss that. I would, actually. Right. Right, steam is departed. Two more. Then it's just a case of hoping now. Cross between Pink Panther and, and yet yeah, a little bit like Pink Panther, yeah. But yeah, getting back down to the bottom is not an easy task because of course you don't want to fall too far. But yeah, this lemming will actually slow you down, so yeah. You don't have to kill him, just keep kicking him out of the way. But yes, back in the day, I think I also called it a hamster. It looks more like a hamster than it does a lemon. Right, that's good. How are we doing? That is perfect. Right, we need some more power. Zero something. Uh, zero of two is awesome. Shender wasn't a third. You never know what the future may hold. Um, you should have asked again, not just me again, I'd say Zelda. Should have done me, shouldn't I? Yeah. But Rich said now, trying to think of some more. It's very difficult to come up with more questions than these strings. Uh, Philly Goose, what did you say? Every fan, I love Pods games like this back in the day. Shame there wasn't more like this. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say, gaming fan? What was would you say was the most addicted puzzle game that you played back in the day? Or maybe even now, you might still play them now. There are some very addictive ones. Some of them, you know, you might not be sure at first. And then you just keep playing it, it grows on you. Like, you flush it down the toilet, and then we go for... Pink. It's pink now, isn't it? I think I'm... Right, have I done the right one? I think so. Um... But yeah, again, it's just now, it's the waiting game. It's just hoping it all goes well. Tetris, of course! Mr. the Raw, yes, of course. So many Tetris games, isn't there? Unbelievable. So yeah, I'm taking a bit of a gamble here. I'm assuming that we've got enough blue robe characters. We're gonna go for the pink ones now. Logical, that is fantastic. I've still not finished it though. I can't get past level 80, 80, 86 or 87. Yeah, that is brutal. That is a very brutal game, but that is so incredibly addictive. And of course, Lemmings, yes, Bill's Tomato game. It's not too bad, this one, Mr. House. It's not too bad. You don't have to do it quite so often. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool game this one. It's, it's, it's much more enjoyable when you know how to play it. You did play it back in the day, we just couldn't solve it. You've never played this low. I played a lot more, but yeah, we just couldn't figure out why we couldn't get the right constant temperature. 
We just keep changing it all the time. One minute it's too cold, so we turn it up. Then it's too hot, we turn it back down. It's just a constant problem. And of course, the battery is at the bottom of the screen, and the issue we had was at the top of the screen. You're going up and down like a, a yo yo, basically. But anyway, it should be good now. But yeah, Zelda. Yeah, amazingly, that wasn't on the media, but I suppose if it was, that would certainly be your pick. Sea Wolf 2 is an awesome game. Shenna wasn't the third game that took advantages of the AGA, more men, and slightly faster CPUs. Yeah. Maybe you never know. We got, of course, Sonic on the CD4, Mario on the CD4. You never know. Maybe one day we get Zelda on the Niga or the CD4. You never know. I think it's doable. I think it's definitely doable. Pushover. Classic. Yes. Love it. That's definitely up there with the best, I think. And also, now, of course, back in the day, I didn't play One Step Beyond, but now I love it. Absolutely do really enjoy it. 28 viewers and 12 likes, and thank you very much, people. So we're going to have a few deductions there. Probably the easiest question I've ever asked you, Mr. Moore, yeah? Wasn't many Zeds in general, I think. A lot of systems, I couldn't think of many, I have to admit. There is a game called Zip. It kind of looks like Blood Money. Oh, really? What system's that on? There's a game called Zep. Kind of looks like Blood Money. I hope you've all seen it already. That woman of, is Edna from the Daily Technical Right. It looks like it. Yeah, the one you push down the stairs. Yes. Have we done it? I think we did it, didn't we? Right. What time is it? Uh, right, what do you want to see next? I haven't told you what to play, no, are we? Night Shift, of course. Bomb Jack Beer Edition. Devil's Temple. Minky. So a few new ones. Wonder Boy. Also, throw that one into the mix. Sean P, Interchange, and I've also thrown in Scent Dragon, I don't think it's time to play it, but we'll see. We play some Scentsy, Das. So what do you want to see out of those next? Bomb Temple Beer Edition, Temple's, Devil's Temple, Minky, Wonder Boy, Interchange, Scentsy, out of those. What do you want to see? Zony Enders, I've got that on the PlayStation 2. <laughs> Mega, I cheated and went to Wikipedia. No problems at all. Yes, yeah, Sony Enders is fantastic, but amazingly, I didn't finish it. But I did play it loads, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, this one didn't actually come out on launch day, even though it was advertised very early on in the PlayStation 2's life. Same as um, Metal Gear Solid 2, but yeah, that one had quite a bit of a delay, but I got it on the first day of release. And yeah, I was addicted to that one. I got really, really far. In fact, I don't think I'm overly far from the end. But, never actually got back to actually finishing it. So, it's going to be a bit difficult to go back to it and continue where I left off. So it might be easier just to start over again. So anyway, we'll go for some Wonder Boy, which is on a floppy disk. Uh, so I've been a busy boy, got Minky on floppy disk. We've got Bomb Jack Beer Edition on floppy disk. And Wonder Boy on floppy disk. And also I had to buy myself a new um, easy install. That stopped working for some reason. I'm not surprised. This don't last forever. So I bought myself another one off a big kit. That will arrive hopefully next week. If I'm not on strike, of course. Um, okay, we'll do some Wonder Boy followed by B Bob Jack or Bomb Jack. Yes, we're going to redo kit reboot. Good old floppy disks. Don't you just love it? There we go. But yeah, Bomb Jack played the original quite a bit back in the day. I don't know if we had a physical version. I think we did. But again, it was one of those ones that was a mystery. There was some I know that got stolen. And there was some that were completely not a mystery. But we definitely had it. I'm sure we did. But I don't know what happened to it. But Graham Cowie's version is better. Of course it is. Much better music. Right. Okay. Good choices. Was there an update? For yes, I've got the latest version. Yeah, and it's one button joystick. I played it once. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to practice. It has some fixes, yeah. So there we go, Scorpio Engine. Of course, I have been following um, the creator on Twitch making this game. And yeah, it's amazing. It is superb. But of course, running on floppy disk, of course, going to be a little bit more slow paced. Mr. and Mr. Rusty James, no problem at all. I'm always making typos. I make them all the time. Gaming fan, um, more games, more games should have been taken advantage of the second button. Yeah, I, I have to admit though, I do struggle to adapt to it because I've been using, basically this is this is my favourite joystick. Jamie, you don't need this one anymore, you need the other one. Um, yeah, because I've got absolutely used to this, this, I've got six of these and this is the ultimate. And uh, 
I've got used to using spacebar, like in our time, use the force, detach the force, or special powers in agony, or um, uh, other ones. I can't think of any moment of time. Uh, quite a lot, Jamie. There's quite a lot of them. So yeah, I kind of got used to it, to be quite honest with you. But yeah, this game, there was a demo which had two buttons, and I really, really struggled with that. I just couldn't get far with two buttons. It was just too different to the original way I used to play it. But I can understand what you're saying. But yeah, I have got myself a monster joystick. Got a two button monster joystick and one for the C32, which has seven buttons. Works a treat. It does work a treat. But this is up for f jump and fire for throwing an axe and hold fire to sprint. Hello to Hound Doggy. This is new. Yes, this won't feature in a list. It was after you started. Um, is it this one? No. Okay, might need to unplug that now. We don't need it. Blobby Jack! Oh, Blobby Jack. Nothing would surprise me if that existed. Uh, Lord Infinity, yes, I've forgotten about Sphere's Legacy. Yeah, I've, that's a good game, that is. 1996, that one came out. Very late for the Mega. But yeah, it's very good by Team 17, of course. Um, no, this is, based, this is Wonder Boy. This is based on the arcade release, arcade original of Wonder Boy. Now, I still think the CG4 version is my favourite. It always will be. That's how it all begun with me. Um, but yeah, this is not a port of the C64 version. This is the arcade version. It's going to be completely and utterly different from the C64 version, which, of course, I love the most. Um, now, of course, we have a draining vitality bar, so, of course, there may be a bit of a problem here. Here you go. He's ready to go. I oh, he needs to go to the toilet. He's ready to rock and roll. Either way, we're going to get through this. Right, okay, so of course I'm a little bit behind though, but you start the game off with, of course, no weapons, of course, at all. But you find them very early on by finding the eggs. No egg shaped bosses here though. Now you have the draining vitality bar, which you've got to replenish by picking up pieces of fruit along the way. But every time you pick up a mushroom, it tastes it uh, fast food. That doubles it, basically. If you find the doll, uh, that doubles your points for the remainder of the level. You also get the skateboard and watch this will hit. I'm not a fan of it, but you can't actually come to a complete stop. But yeah, not so good on the second stage, because of course, forward on water and jumping on clouds is not the best way to do it by using a skateboard. But it looks superb. It really is superb. It's great that it's actually now on a one button joystick. Of course, it's different for everyone. Some people like that, some people don't. But yeah, I do prefer this. Right, let's get to a safe position. Now, of course, hold the far button down like in Mario. You can sprint, which is good to get additional distance in your jumps. And of course, this game, you have so many difficult jumps. Not so much on earlier versions, but anyway, in a moment of time, we're invincible, so we run into the enemy and explode. Right. But if you die, you do lose your axe, but not for long. Um, but overall, I think Eroch has done a tremendous job of this game. It really is good! <laughs> that didn't work, that didn't work. Yes, also love the C4 version the most. Me too. Good memories of that one. Right, we'll start again. Also, I think this game also does have... Um, uh, it also has... I'm killing myself on purpose, by the way. Uh, Unlimited continues. Wonder Boy, always a good weather. Yes, it is good weather. Apart from level 3, it's icy. Rusty James, I'm okay. I collapsed at work last week. Was here, was in the he for a couple of days. So he on sick leave for three weeks, but getting better. Yes, Mr. Raw has had a rough time. I do wish you raw a full speedy recovery. And it's great to hear from you. It's always nice to hear from you. And same as you, Rusty James. And I also had a response the other day from Robert Gray. He's doing alright, of course, he's not quite there yet, he's on the mens, but it's nice to hear from him. Anyway, um, Hound Doggy, how are you doing buddy? I probably have missed quite a few here. Uh, another question. What is your most played Wonder Boy game or port? I think a few of you have already answered anyway, but anyway, mine, I've said it before, say it again, it is the C4 version. So I uh, back had to go downstairs, no problems at all. I don't have stairs in my house, I would like though. So I have stairs, that means my, my house is bigger. Yes, yeah, so other C4 versions as well. Wonder Boy always makes good weather. What modern video game genres do you think you could translate well to the media? I would like to say similar to Sly the 
Slay the Spyro. Is that Spyro? Slay the Spyry. Um, great. Well, there's so many. I mean, this, amazingly, couldn't believe this one wasn't done back in the day. I have to admit. Um, of course, Kung Fu Master is pretty much uh, Devil's Temple. Let's have a bit of think about it. I mean, the Shinobi on the Amiga was a bit of a letdown. It's okay, but it could have been so much better. Of course, we had Bubble Bubble, didn't we? Um, Golden Axe. That's superb. Uh, oh, Beast. I do like that version, but you want to think of ones. Would nice, be nice to have Mario on the Amiga. Played that on your archive back in the day. Um, I have to have a little think about that one. But thank you for the question. Um, I'm trying to think now. Arcade games on Amiga. I mean, some of them are very good, of course. Um, Silkworm is fantastic. Rainbow Islands is fantastic. Pang is fantastic. All very good arcade ports, of course. Final Fight, I mean, it's okay, but it could have been better. A lot better. But let's look at your answers here. So anyway, on the any port you like. So C4 version 1 on C4, Monster Land on the Master System and Amiga for King Arthur. Amiga Monster Land, not too shabby. Wonder Boy looks great. I had Wonder Boy and Monster Land back in the day. Monster Land Amiga, Wonder Boy is awesome. The version is great, but the Master System was awesome too, which of course was two buttons. Did you ever try Dr. Mario on Amiga? I don't think I have. However, the music doesn't really suit that game. But I have played it on the NES. Did play it in the old days though. Even though a lot of my friends did have a NES, they didn't have that game though. And of course the rocks doesn't actually kill you, it just stuns you. Every time it stuns you, you lose more vitality. Keep the vitality topped up by picking up fruit along the way. Alright, skateboard, why not? Not quite. Tiger Woods, there's a goal for Jamie. Tiger Hawk, no, that's one as well. Tony Hawk. I don't know why, I always get on the major tangle, those two. Because I've not got that any more wrong. Right, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want to be jumping over Bobber's pits with it. <laughs> I always make that mistake, every single time. I always do. Can't figure it out, just blend them both together. Why not? Uh, amazing name. <laughs> Sue Wonder Boy, but it would like Wonder Boy 3 better, yeah? He does have a bit of a floaty jump, but more so on the down than he has up. See, a bit floaty, a bit like not quite a Jana Sisters, but yeah, he's a bit floaty. A bit difficult when you've got to try and land on something that's either moving, whether it's been up or down or up or left and right. The skateboard part of me is. This skateboard part reminds you me of, or you, of Super Adventure Island. Amazing game. Tiger Hawk. Uh, also, Double Dragon 2 is an awesome parquet port. That is true, actually. On the Mega, that is very good. Okay, I mean, of course, yes, the first game, the Mega version, wasn't great. But we should get one in the future. It's ongoing. The same as Robocop. That is also in the works. So I'm looking forward to playing that. They're both looking really good at the early stages. Right, okay. Now, on this one... Um, oh my lord! No, 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 no. <laughs> Silly missing. For those of you that have played the arcade version, I've not actually played it on official arcade. How close is this to the arcade version? Now, I tend to sort of sprint more in the season 4 version than I do on this one, but of course, not so much familiar with this version. But yeah, these clouds are actually a lot wider. I don't know what that does, though. So I'm not 100% sure which ones drop. And when they drop, they drop like a stone. Got the squids. Each piece of fruit is one bar. Fast food is double. Right. So, Swiss House, how's Smiller doing? Is he alright? Yippa! There we go. Feet firmly on the ground. Kill the natives. Every time you reach a checkpoint, which is the signpost, you resume play from there. What is that? We are invincible! There we go. 
Run like the wind. Oh! Jamie, take it easy. Um, right, I'll catch you on the chat in a moment. There's a doll, it doubles your points. Uh. Uh. <clears throat> One of these drops. Uh. Jump! There you go! Not professionally done though. It's really? That's a disappointing score. Well, we'll try and change that later on. We'll do a little bit of Sensi. What was a Marlin? Uh, every game that US Gold not convert is fantastic. I like what you've done there. True though. Amazing game, amazing name, yeah. Yeah, Hound Doggy, have you played it? But yes, do you agree with what I say there? That the music, it's quite rocky, isn't it? It's not not the uh, Sylvester Stone sort of rocky, more like a that, you know what I mean? Not that I'm complaining, of course. Yeah, we had a bit, had a bit of a bet at work um, the other day, and someone I used to, I worked with did actually think it was going to be nil-nil in the first game. I thought it would be two-nil in the first game, but I thought it would be two-nil this game. But yeah, we're not doing very well in the score department. So anyway, provided you end the level with the axe, you'll continue with the axe. This game is very difficult to do when you lose the axe, but you don't get it immediately. Same as um, Og, pretty much the same thing. It's basically a a clone in this game. He's in a France graphics architecture. Right. Did they pay bad? Oh, really? It's crazy, isn't it? It wins 6-2, and then nil-nil, and apparently they pay bad. I mean, it's a crazy game sometimes, isn't it? But yeah, this is difficult, because I'm not familiar with enemies being in these sort of locations. It shouldn't be like this. I'm not used to this. This music is infectious. But it's not so bad though, is it? It's okay. It's not coming home. Well, you never know. Anything could happen. I have heard there's, there's quite a few surprises already. Um, who was it lost the other day? Um, I have to admit, I've not really been following it. I don't follow football anymore. But yeah, there was a few surprises I heard about. No vitality. Need fruits. Yeah, fruits and vegetables. Well spotted! Well spotted. Um. Right, that's bad, Jamie. That's bad. Death on my mind. That'll drain your vitality. And it slows the music down. More like a dun 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 sort of situation now. Which you might improve. <laughs> which does might improve. Might, might actually like it now. I've got to be kidding, no, I ain't doing that. I'll do that, though. Yes, that's the one. Yes, Argentina, yeah. Um, yeah, is it going to be... Um, is it Meti? Matty? Meti? Is it his last one? His last World Cup? Um, Argentina losing its win. Three hours after this stream, you will be humming to the Wonderboy tune. Maybe. Maybe. We'll hear that in your head when you sleep. Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Oh, messy. What did I say? Messy. Yes, messy. But my words at the moment of time. Very messy, Jamie. Very gobbledygook. No chair. No, of course, you probably missed the intro. Yes, I'm back in my old setup because I don't have messy room. Sort of. A messy organised state of play. Yes. No, I don't have one yet. I bought one from Amazon, but I sent it back because it was too small. I bought it and I didn't actually realise it's for teenagers or juniors, not for a big tall lanky git like me. And of course it was delivered by Herms or whatever they're called now. So of course getting my refund didn't, it took some time. Right, that's a problem. Right, let's do this a difficult way. It's much easier if you have an axe in your possession. So yeah, I had one, not anymore. So I'm using my sofa. There you go, the music will change, so I, I don't know, about six foot? Just short of six foot? <laughs> Trouble is, the problem is, there were two which I had, I, I had my eye on. One of them was recommended by Amazon, and there was also another one, Every, that's the one, or the other one was the bestseller. 
So I went for the one they recommended. I didn't really look into it. I thought, that looks all right. It looks comfortable. £75 will buy that. And it arrived, and the box was a lot smaller than I expected. I mean, it would have been, it might have been okay, but not in the long run. But it said on the side of the box, best for juniors or teens. And I thought, no, I've messed this up, haven't I? So it's taken about five days to get my refund. I should get it on Monday, I think. But it has gone back. Right, so we still don't have the axe yet. There's the doll. Do you prefer this one, Dad's game? <laughs> right. Energy. Right, catch up in a moment. Let's get some more vitality. Um. Uh, well, um, I've actually got more cables now. Because I've got more screens on the go. I've got more space for it now. Ugh! But yeah, um, I've actually got four screens now. I mean, yes, I'm now playing the game on a much bigger screen now. Um, yeah. Hey, a evil frog! It's called Jamie's Cable Trail. I like that. It's who? Yes, things like uh, uh, breadcrumbs is a thing of the past. It's follow the cables. Follow the cables, you'll find your way home. It's easy done in a game like this, and a situation like this, in the mortgage just game's house. That's a really evil frog. The only enemy, I think, which takes two additional hits, apart from the boss battle. Uh, wait, wait, we'll do one more level, well, one more boss, the only boss, and we'll move on. And put your ears to rest. Don't trip. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That's a good point. However, I've definitely learnt my lesson. Yeah, when I fell onto my coffee table last year and put a hole in it. I have sort of learned from that now. Right, energy's good. We should get energy replenished before the boss battle. No, no, no I haven't got a puppy. No, it would be fair on Jasper. I mean, Jasper's the boss of this house. If I'm going to get a puppy... I don't know who would be the boss now. It'd be a combination of the two, I expect. Right, so again, same as usual version. Shoot the heads. A lot different to the one that I'm used to seeing. Take your time. There we go. Gives you an item which belongs to your girlfriend. Yes, we're trying to rescue our girlfriend once again. Yes, I'm back in my living room, Mr. Heath, and hope you're well, Manky Hobbies. Good to see you. And Axel Folly, sorry I didn't see you there. Good to see you, buddy. The fact that this is made with the Scorpion engine and runs 50 frames per second on an mem expanded 800 gives credit to the amazing engine. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, I'm not as good as you, Jamie, on stream. Mr. Raw went, what about you? Uh, because furniture is wonderful, Mr. King Arthur. Sorry, I've missed your comment there. Um... I bought a six pack of Heineken for this evening. Well, we'll be playing some Bombay Beer Edition. It doesn't contain beer, but I think Mr. Cowie basically coded it while drinking beer. I think that's how it got its name. If he's here, he might want to confirm that one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It doesn't contain any beer in the game. It's just what he was drinking when he made the game. But yeah, he could be drinking that, and that would certainly fit in that game. Well, I think we're going to play it next, actually. Right, we'll just finish this one off, and we'll move on to the next game, shall we? Um, yes. My it's not scrolling, Jamie. Got 31 watching, uh, 81 views so far. Thank you. Um... Ah! My lord! Cake! Life? Yes. I've only lost a lot of that. Ow! See, this is the problem. I'm not familiar with these platforms. I mean, yes, the C4 version I know very, very well. Um... Did you get Quest 3D for Amiga? No! No, never played it. That was a crazy jump, wasn't it? That is crazy. Springs in games? Not a fan of springs in games. Especially when water's around. Yeah, a lot of trial and error in this one. So yeah, King Arthur is, is pretty spot on, is it? I just don't know if I have played the arcade version. I don't think so. Not on a proper arcade. They are evil. Um, 
How far do you get in the Mario and the Lost Levels, Jamie? Uh, I've not played it very much, not very far. When it comes to Nintendo, not very far, really, because I didn't play them back in the day. I only ran friends' houses. I was too busy playing Commodore. Um, you got part of a one died then. Or well, me? <laughs> uh, no, got further than that. Three lives. Right, I'm just. Just gonna run for like that first jump and hope you make it safely. The sound! No, you see. Hello to Bob. Good to see you. Yes, Wonder Boy on the media. Came out this year. And also, enemies feature here that don't on the season four version. So yeah, it takes some getting used to. But yeah, Andrew Shabine, some really difficult jumps. Like that! Totally unexpected! Of course, no surprise, Wonder Boy can't swim. I wonder why. Um, yeah, I don't know this quest 3D. Like, it wouldn't be as, it wouldn't be you as a boss. Animals always rule the house. True, true. Don't you need to get all the jewels? Uh, no, well, I don't know. It just doubles your points, basically. I think in, yes, the original version, if you get all the dolls, yes, you get a hidden level or Additional level, or a secret ending, but yes, on the C4 version, I have tried doing that. There's actually one missing. Uh, I can't remember what level it was, but yeah, basically I tried finding it, I couldn't find it. And of course, if you can't find it, you can't find all of them. If you can't find all of them, you're not going to get a true ending. But yeah, I don't know if it's a bug, maybe. But it, it certainly isn't there. Unless you can't actually do it on that version, which is possible. I don't know, a lot of questions there. Lots of fire here. <laughs> Is it? Oh, we, yes, yes. Very different from m many of you. My little random show goes all over the world. Remind me where you are, buddy? This looks like a great arcade port. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I did play the uh, the demo version, and of course, didn't have the one button joystick option. But this is lots, much easier. How's Algenstein? Oh, poo! I've got the post in Discord, didn't I? Oh, sorry, buddy. I totally forgot about that. How are you doing, Alkenstein? Uh, mind you, it should say it on the right-hand side. It should say I'm streaming. It should do. Uh, it, uh, all your machines will be destroyed if you are... That's true, actually. I'm not saying all dogs, puppies are like that. But if they're stuck in a small house, they're going to want to... Yeah. It probably won't happen. Getting a puppy, no way. I don't think so. Jasper's my little buddy. He's he's everything to me, so it would be fair on him anyway. I wouldn't even get another cat. You know, this is not fair on him. You introduce another cat into a house with a, a normal cat there. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be fighting territory, isn't it? What's we missing is the boxing ring. Everything else being placed. Boulder Dash, hello, the Boulder Dash. Doing good, buddy. Happy Friday. This game looks amazing. And also, also. Music also. Yeah. It's not so bad. I mean, I have to admit, it doesn't bother me. Some games... No, I don't think... No, I don't think... No, I'm right. I can deal with this. Good on Season 4 2. Yes, it is. Right, we're going to move on to the next game, which is going to be Bomb Jack Beer Edition. So, yeah, if you've got some beer, open that can of beer. However, I don't. I've got cups of tea and a glass of water. Uh, Bob Dash, hello everyone, it's 8.04am Saturday here, mate, appreciate that, really appreciate that. Hello Bob, how you doing Bob, good to see you. Skin of your teeth, yeah, pretty much, isn't that just the way though, right? Now also, Bomb Jack Beer Edition, I'm waiting for my box version to arrive, but again, due to Royal Mouth Strikes. Mr. King, um, uh, Kite 6 g I guess you're alright in where you are in Belgium. You do things professionally over there, no stripes of the Royal Mouth over there. Right, reboot, We're using the floppy disks once again. Hooray, I didn't miss it. Um, do good, buddy, happy Friday, this game looks amazing. Also, also, music is good. That just made me chicken tikka kebab for your supper. Bon appetit. Yes, there we go, Bomb Jet Beer Edition. This also should be the latest version, I think so. This did go through quite a few changes. Um, I've missed a few comments, though. Andrew, yes, you are a smart man, I forgot, no kidding. 
Andrew Dubai, he's a smart man. He's very smart. Awesome dude, too. Uh, Lord Infinity, the music is very similar to Alien 3 on the CD4. It's every now, and if you did deliver it to the Lucky, it would be intact, though you call a chair. Yes. There we go, loaded fantastically well on a disc. Love this music. Um, let me know if it's too loud. But yeah, actually, Folly, good to see you, buddy. Sorry I missed your earlier comment. Hope you're well. Yeah, Bob, Bob what, what games have you playing recently? You're too kind, which is true, buddy. Because my nose ain't growing, you know, because I'm, I'm telling the truth, you see. If I was lying, it would go, Whoa. Yeah, well, amazing. Telling the truth. Right, uh, <laughs> next question. Let's have a look. Um, how many games do you name which you say bombs? There you go. Love some MJ, JJ, JJ, JMJ. Also, smart. He is smart. I say Christmas is mouth. We gotta use it calling. Do you know what? It doesn't seem like Christmas. It really, really, really doesn't. When I went to the dentist the other day, I had two fillings. Uh, she said to me, I'll see you in six months' time. Have a nice Christmas. And I was like, oh yeah. Thought about that. It didn't feel like Christmas. It's November. And someone's already saying to me, have a nice Christmas. It just doesn't feel Christmassy. And of course, World Cup's happening. It doesn't happen at Christmas time. But there we go. It's crazy, isn't it? Um... Yeah, Alkenstein, I'm so sorry about the uh, problem there, but I hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Um, Astral Folly, Bomb of the Land, C4, not played on C4. Worms, bit dangerous. Worms, again, fantastic. Hate the Raw Mouse Strike, I'm waiting for your Spectrum Toast Rat to arrive. Question, what's the first arcade game you ever saw? Well, on an arcade or an arcade port? Um, that's going to take some doing to try and remember that one. If you're talking about the Amiga, possibly Pang. Uh, well, an arcade could be anything. I don't know. I'm really not sure. I might get copyright on this crane carry. I'm not sure. I have before. Um, yeah, bombs. Worms. So many bombs in that game. Oh, poo! What's happened there? Oh, my lord. Restart. Restart. Um, Minesweeper. Do you know what? I love that. I was quite good on Expert on that one. On the good old uh, MS DOS or Windows Expert. No, 3.1 it was, back in the day. Asteroid, fantastic, yeah, classic. Beer edition, yes, but no beer whatsoever. Pang is a classic, called Buster Brothers in New... Uh, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Rick Dangerous, yeah, TNTs. Uh, yes, because of course I created a floppy disk of it yesterday, because of course my box hasn't arrived in time. Blame the Royal Mail for that one. Yeah, Pang is fantastic. I mean, I hadn't played the arcade version before playing the Amiga version. I didn't actually realise it was on the arcade. But when I saw it on arcade, yeah, wow factor. Right, let's try again. Right. Um, right, so the rules of the game. Collect the bombs. And if you collect them in a certain order, you get more bonus points. Which, of course, yes, is the way to do it. But rule number one, we're not trying to stay alive. And you can kill the enemies by picking up the P icon. Which turns into like coins. They're like coins. They're not coins though. Picking up a certain quantity of those B icons will get you an additional life. But it's certainly a lot better than the original version, which I did play back in the day. Uh, I wasn't really keen on Bomberman 2 either. I'm not 100% sure if that was its title. But yeah, the second version, the second game, wasn't as good as the first. And this is also a lot better than the original. There you go. But yeah, it's one of these games. It does take some getting used to with the control scheme. Yeah, we're gonna try and get as far as we can. Not gonna try and collect absolutely everything in the right order, just get through it. Start the game off with two lives. Lady Madonna, uh, different music we played, hold on a minute. Now he jumps incredibly high. Now enemies commit themselves, commit suicides, which will turn into flying enemies. But that's not in this state very long. Whoa! Um, sold the gold. Oh, did you? Oh, my lord, did it go for much? Am I hearing correctly? Mr. Heath is selling things. My lord. <laughs> I thought we only bought things. Kill these enemies. Right. 
Awesome music. Brilliant. Multi strike. Um, first was Bomb Jack, second was Double Dragon, because I remember the end when. So many here. So many here! My lord, so can go. There you go, we're laughing, we got that. We got that. Kill those. Brilliant. I haven't played this for absolutely ages, by the way. Hello to Ox. Good to see you, Ox. This was, no, uh, originally I was going to do an unboxing. I've actually bought myself a box version of this, as well as Devil's Temple. But unfortunately, here in the UK, there is a strike going on. So I thought, why not? We can't unbox them. But yeah, it is a little bit of a shout out for Graham Cowley. His amazing team. Um, but yeah, also, because I haven't played it for a while. But they should walk off the cliff like lemmings. Up here. Boom, boom, pow. How you doing, buddy? Close to 2k subs. Get in there, buddy. Yeah. Rick Danger is superb. This high version has bombs every time the thing bugged out. Really? Right, let's give her that question, Jamie. Well, it's not really affecting the game, though, is it? What if Graham Cowley actually still plays this? Of course, you've created more games since this one. Going well, though! Jamie, misreading, I remember where and when I saw them. Oh, you do? I'm oh, sorry, I probably have misread that quite a few times, actually. Um. Ooh. Yeah, this is quite difficult to read while doing it. Um. It's Tim Pilot here! Hello to Tim Pilot! How's the pussycat doing? Remind me of her name? Or his name? Very fluffy, isn't he? She. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Um, I am Jenny Duck is here. Hello, Jenny Duck. Good to see you. Welcome to both of you. Right. Uh, uh, no. Ah, mind you, that was a good run. No deaths. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah. Bit peeved myself. Waiting for some retro games to arrive in the post. Yeah, I've got. I've got two. Purchases. One was actually on Facebook, amazingly. I don't buy on Facebook. Um, the other one, of course, is Mr. Graham Cowie's Amazing Games. And of course, I, I, I love to support these creators. You've got her in you. They're doing amazing things for the community. Uh, still remember the first time you played the arcade of this game? I don't think you've ever played it on the arcade. Thought it was Bomb Jack, second was Bomb Jack. Okay, maybe give her that question. Go on, like, absolute ages. Uh, yes, boom, pow. Uh, her name is Sophie, and a big ball of fluff. It's a nice pussycat. And Heath, how is Millie doing? Is it Millie? How's she doing? Right, round. Ten. So you press up and fire to jump high, and you hold left and right, and go left and right. I think you have to set your finger off the fire button first. And you stay at a reasonable height. Angle, should we say. <laughs> Don't ask me what these noises are, I have no idea myself. There you go, now it. Woohoo, it's going well. There we go. Good game, good game. Thank you very much. Hope you're well, Jelly Duck. Uh, yeah, I've not played the season 1 version. Um, Kite 6 Oh my god, it's going nowhere. Thank you very much, I appreciate that, Sean. Uh, Millie just slept because it's winter. Yeah? Oh, I can't believe it. Multi strike. Um, yeah, help, uh, Man Cave Hobbies, get in there, buddy. It's slow paced, though. But it was never going to be a, a, a full time job. It's still a hobby, but it's a, an enjoyable hobby. But it's time consuming, of course. But I'm getting there. Going well, thank you, Mr. Wall. Appreciate that. Jinxed it? No, you didn't. I am impressed too. Never got far in this game myself. Where's the Swede? He was here earlier on today. He'll be back. I'm sure he will. Um, definitely music to one I played. Um, <clears throat> should I have another go? First game we played. Oh, Hero! Actual Folly. Yes, got that on season 4. CJ Antics, Antic, Spirits of the Legacy, Theatre Europe from the Hall of Infinity, uh, Right Protected, The Bane of Every Floppy Disk. 
Um, Mr. King Arthur, mate, you've missed so many comments here, Jamie. Mine might be Golden Axe, but really cannot remember. It's a long way from here. Blimey, I can't remember the first time I played one. It was... I can't remember if I got the Mega or CD4 first. Probably CD4 first. It was probably very late 80s. I've been too young before that. I probably wouldn't reach the screen. Um, you told me to see games with bombs every time the thing bugged out. Beer edition. I think I'm fairly up to date though. How you doing, Sean? Uh, J Duck, Tim Pilot, Kite, Ox, Algenstein. Hope you're all well, buddy. And Gumbio! Hello, Gumbio! Hello to John, good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Been watching football, you funny football? Yeah. Bit of football, been watching that? I know the score though. Yeah. Not as high as that score. Right, one more go. What did you miss? You have missed. The one thing you have not missed is the awesome chat. The awesome chat is here. It's always awesome. So that you have not missed. It's always been here. Always will be here. But you have missed in terms of games. Night Shift, I think I got to level 4 or 5. Didn't die though. Wasn't sacked though. So Night Shift, you've also missed Wonder Boy. So you missed two games. And then this. Hey, yes, it's Graham. I'll try, you know what, let's just do it now. I am aware of that, but yeah, I do try and try and avoid that. Because I just try not to die so much. But yes, yeah, so you click it in a certain order. Basically, if it's flashing, or lit, should we say, it will get you additional score. But of course, it's going to take longer, so there's more likely areas we're going to get killed. Like here, for example. Yeah, it's risky though, but yeah, it's definitely a good way of an initial score. Um, great version this, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, Grand Carry did an amazing job of this game. Now, you don't have to get to all of them to get the bonus, but you get a reasonable amount. I think it's about. Is it five short? Something like that? That should do it. That should do it. Not perfect, but it should get a result like that. No, not quite. Okay, do it again then. Nope. Nope. Put that there. Uh, no. See, it's more difficult this way, I think. You get killed by flying footballs. Basically, yes. In retro games, anything can kill you. Right. It's tough, though. Um, is it boring, was it, Gumdio? Crazy, isn't it? Right, there, there, there. Now, I ain't gonna get there, there in a hurry. It certainly makes it a lot more challenging. Because you're surrounded by footballs. Hello to Mark Gordon, good to see you. Oh, poo! See, it's, it's so much more difficult. How are you doing, buddy? And Chris is here! Hello, buddy! Um, you haven't missed any Temple yet, no. Oh, you did miss my good performance, you just joined in my bad one. Yeah, well, one more go. There goes my previous score. Yeah. No comparison there, is it? I'm assuming, um, Grand Cowie, Leo is your son, is that right? Uh, awesome homebrew James, you need to tap fire repeatedly in the air to float. It makes it much more easier. I'll give it a try. No, 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 it's just random ones. Uh, just random ones thrown in. But yeah, a few new ones. Uh, Minky's also new. Um, Devil's Temple is definitely new. This one came out, was it 2018, was it? Was, was it 19? He's sitting next to you. Hello to Leo! How, are you, how old is Leo? He's famous, see? He's famous. Of course he's famous. He's an amazing dad. No. No. Uh, he's seven. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hope you're well.
What games is Leo into? Apart from the ones that you make, of course, which should be his favourites. They should be. Like that, yeah? Oh, dear oh lord! Like that. Yeah, I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Duh. No! UFO on the brain, on the temple. Are those the pyramids Giza? Right. What game do we see next on the list, people? Devil's Temple, Minky, Interchange, or Sensi? There we go, 20. Yeah, basically, we're gonna play some Sensi later on today. Basically, we're just gonna do the game that's been played, basically. We're gonna do a quick go of England versus the US of A. And see if you make it a bit more interesting than the goldless draw apparently we had today. Um. I see a donation! Who is that? Thank you very much, whoever that is. I'll catch up in a moment. Who's that? Who's that? Underscore 64 donated That's it, thank you! Hi, Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, you did a little change there, you see that? Um, I'm full now, off your chicken kebab. Full tummy, yeah? <laughs> oh, poo! I'm assuming that is time. I don't think it stays there the whole entire time, does it? Right, hold on a minute. What does it? I don't know. Hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Thank you very much again for continuing support. Not just on the stream, but also on Patreon. Um, you got the proper ending that side. I did, didn't I? Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Not every time. <laughs> um, Mr. Grand Carry, how many levels does this game have? It's got to be at least 50, I reckon. Yeah, you missed Night Shift. Got to level four, I think it was. So much easier, now I know how to play it. I mean, I didn't know how to play most of it, it's just a very crucial point I didn't know. So given to the CD4 one. Awesome, who remains back in your jump for the press of fire. There we go. Let's ruin their day, shall we? Not gonna ruin my day, though. I'm playing Amiga games. Shoot into the world. 60s, really? Okay. Will the C4 remake ever see the light of day? Never know. I have to admit though, I'm, I'm a little bit behind on all these new games. <gasps> a bit behind. I mean, this year has, has been... Yeah, my new job has really taken over my life. It was a big, big part of my life to finally get out of that old job. So that's been my main priority. And of course, the streams are always going to be doing them part of my week. But yeah, I have to admit, I've got a little bit behind on some of these new games. More on the CD4. Minky is also a new one we'll play that later on today, which Mr. Roar will be pleased with. He's also finished that one, I think you remember rightly. Um, better than lipsticks. Good memory, John. Yeah, much better than lipsticks. Um, 60, oh, 64, is it? Have a speed now. When was the last time you played this, Grand Cowie? Um. Okay, here you say now. Here, welcome back, buddy. How did it go? Believe it. I've been watching yeah since August 2019. Sean, that's very kind of you. Well, Mr. Gre uh, Sweet House, we'll be playing some football later. But only one game, though. But what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more time to the game. Rather than the basic three minutes I think it is. Oh, she's in the same goat. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, buddy. It's so nice that people are joining my streams. 
from Twitch. A lot of people do know me from Twitch. And of course, I know some people aren't really a fan of YouTube. But it's great that you guys are joining me from where you normally are, over to YouTube. If I wasn't doing videos, I probably would have made a permanent switch. But of course I do videos as well. It's just, there's no point changing, I think. Um, how's this really good? Who lives in, a, in Buffalo with 10 feet of snow? That's crazy. Failed off-road too hard. The tip off-road is fantastic, though. Um... Right, what do you want to see next? I probably have asked this already, haven't I? Uh, Minky, Devil's Time, Paul, Interchange, Sensity. What do you want to see? Uh, I got ten, even though. Know, not as good as the first. No! Oh, thank you very much for the description. Occasionally I do, but not very often. But I know I should do. Not to these sort of extents of streams. Probably just like one game, two at most. But not like the YouTube ones. It's rare though. It is very rare though. So in more games, you find it fairly easily. <laughs> um, so I'm playing the new C4 version of Item Holder. That is one of the achievements to pull off on the C4. That does that does look good. I'm not a fan of dungeon callers though. But that's an amazing. Um, that's an amazing thing that they've done though. Achievement. That's what I'm looking for. Achievements. Um, Leo says, great playing. Thank you very much, buddy. Not as good as my first go, though. But welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, wasn't there a Master System version of Bomb Jap? I'm not sure, but probably. Start playing new C4 version of Garbage Holder. It's one of achievement. How far have you got? I'm assuming it's a long game, though. Garbage Holder is free. Is it really? It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, looking forward to playing this at the weekend. Is it just me? It was a chat on screen, very behind, like 60 seconds. Is it really? Uh, maybe do a quick refresh. If you want to do a quick test, that'd be fantastic. But yeah, if it is, that's that's not good. However, I've got a lot going on here. Um, yeah. I've got four screens on the go here. And three of them are plugged, in, plugged in my PC. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm not using my desk in my new setup. I'm using my old setup. I'm back in the living room again. Because I don't have a chair yet. It hasn't arrived. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have the money to do it. But also, thank you to everyone that donated last stream. That has really, really helped. I'm waiting for my refund to be given back to me. And I go back to the chair hunt again. Hopefully so. Um, uh, however, I'm quite tempted. Hold on, let's have a look. I'll tell you what, we'll do one more new game. And then we'll go back to some old games. We've got, we've got to do some te Devil Temple, haven't we? We've got to, haven't we? Um... Right, so I'm using my switcher. That's working well. I put it on the CF card. Also, I bought myself a new adapter. I don't know if I'm broke, but yeah, we've got it here somewhere. There we go. It should work perfectly. Not played it much, though, Graham Cowie. Uh, I have got a cup of tea. It's gone stone cold, though. So I'm drinking water. One thing I do not drink enough of is water, I have to admit. But yes, if Sweet Sours, if that is true, I, I don't really know what to do about that. Maybe a quick refresh might do it, but if it is slow like that, that's not very good. But it should be on ultra low latency. But yeah, it could be my internet. There you go, who's that guy? I've seen him before somewhere. Um, Border Dash, uh, play in C128 emulator for double screen. I've never played a C128. Um, so, what, Jesse James, have you played it? Have you got far in it? Pice Amiga, hello to John. Sorry, Jack, sorry. Jack and Taylor, good to see you. Yeah, unfortunately, yes, I can drink tea like snow tomorrow. Basically, like vampires, they need blood to live. I need tea to live. But sometimes when I'm streaming, I tend to forget about it. So nine times out of ten, when I'm drinking it on streams, it's cold. So if that's the case, then switch over to something that should be cold, like water. Jackie Chan, yeah, basically. But yeah, this is basically not a remake of Kung Fu Master. Is it like a sequel? It's very much like Vigilante, isn't it? But yeah, it's really, really well done. And of course, the creator is here on the stream. But yes, yeah, so I was going to do a little mini unboxing, but unfortunately, blame Royal Mail why it's not here. It should be, though. But there we go, it's getting shot. But yeah, amazing game, released in 2022. Uh, is it 16 months it took? Amazing. Amazing. It looks the bee's knees. It really does look good. Bit of a mean time of it, though. <laughs> but there we go. It's fantastic. It is really, really good. 
Right, put a question on, shall we? Um... Uh, yeah. What are your top... I know it's not at the end of the year yet, but we're not too far off. What are your top three new games of 2022? Does that have to be retro? It could be modern. Whatever you want it to be. It's Jack. Good, good evening, Jack. What time is it where you are? Let's have a guess. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm going to guess it's now half past three. Uh, ja um, Chris, get it UK. How are you... Buddy, how you doing? Uh, it's a sequel to Country, but yeah, basic. Well, yeah, basically, yeah. Graham, Graham Cowie. It's really good. I mean, the graphics are out, out, out of this world good. Not got far though, but I only played. I think I played twice. It's been my third go. Um, Sonic on CD4 is fantastic. That was last year, wasn't it? Only just though, right at the end. I was, I was pretty spot on though, my lord. Apart from the accurate minutes, but I'm very happy with that. The son of the Kung Fu master. Um, unusual findings, Return of Monkey Island. Do you know what? I heard that was actually the game of the year. I saw it on Facebook earlier today. We got for four. Yeah, I've not played it though. However, when it comes to Monkey Islands, I've got one box version. I have never ever finished a Monkey Island game. Hello to Colin. Hello to Mammoth. Let's go. Good to see you. Bought this game on the release, by the way. It's awesome. Has yours arrived yet? Mine hasn't. <laughs> there we go. Um, show us the letter. I've not seen that yet. Not seen it. Uh, I could do. I forget about this, but we'll try to stick it on the C4 for, for the game. 100 times better than the US goals attempt at Vigilante. Vigilante was good. I did like it. I did like it. But I played the CG4 version a lot more. But yes, the time limit is quite mean, this one. But yeah, it's fantastic. It looks so good. Not only is the sprites fantastic, but the visual background's got some really nice touches. If you're an 80s kid, maybe even a 90s kid, it's going to suit you down to the ground. Um, it's just so good. They don't have many skills, but certainly the kit is probably the one you're probably going to use the most. But yeah, a little bit like uh, Edwin... Edmund Honda, Street Fighter 2, kind of like that, but with your kicks rather than your fists. One thing I have not figured out though is how you use weapons. I've got a dagger in my hand, but I don't know how you use it. Is it loud enough? Let me know if it's too quiet. It's great, isn't it? Music, brilliant as well. Neat game. Hope you're well, Colin. Good to see you, buddy. How you been? You been watching the football? Yeah, how would you use the dagger? The blue oyster cop, yeah. Maybe let's try space bar. Nope. Don't know. Watch that time limit. That's not a knife. <laughs> Knife versus baton. However, he was using the baton. I don't know how to use the knife or dagger. This is ludicrous display last night. IT crowd reference. Uh, I think you needed to... Oh, right. That makes sense, um, Chris. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. No, I'm using the zip stick. That's, that's why then. Okay, no worries. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you. Kick him in the foot. Yeah, basically. Death by foot kick, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're doing it differently then. We're doing it differently. But yeah, this, for example, is so cool. We've got some Top Gun there. We've got Evil Dead. Jaws, one of my favourite films of all time. And you do have secrets, but I haven't found many though. But it's brilliant. Uh, is that Cobra? Don't have that as a box or case version of my collection on the uh, DVD front. But yeah, that makes sense, Graham Cowie. Right, now, I now know. I did wonder. Yin Yangs. Ayya ba ba ba! It's my favourite track in this game, this one. <laughs> I just realised what I said there, it's my train track. Hoffman, yeah, Hoffman did an amazing version of Nightmare, which I didn't play back in the day, never heard of it. As soon as I heard about a Nightmare game, I almost actually thought it was going to be the CD4 version, get the, the, the version it deserved. No, it's completely nothing different, but yeah, basically it's an MSX port, isn't it? Really good, really is good. 
Shame there's no physical version. Maybe in the future, you never know. Time in it, Jamie. There you go. Who made that game then? Big fern. Um, this is news to me, mate. That's not... <laughs> um, what is a zipstick? It's, whoa, it's the joystick I am using. So it's dance, isn't it? I was going to die anyway, which is less like a lack of time. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Yeah, what is your preferred controller if you're playing on the Mega? Are you a Zipstick? Are you a Cruiser? A Rapid Fire? Rapid Shot? Eagle Dead? Amazing, isn't it? can also pick up additional lights along the way, and yes, I'm missing, missing things here. Maze, isn't it? That's energy. Yeah. Right. Um, this is Devil's Temple, came out this year, and the crater is on the chat. Yeah, I hope you're well, Colin, by the way, good to see you. Did you manage to get all your videos uploaded on your new channel? Hello, Jonathan McD. Hello, everybody. Get that time of year, be McDuck soon. There you go. Hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Nice, poor, hard castle vibes indeed. Um, this game looks fun. It is good. I still play with the arcade and the classic Sega joypad. In Bloods, the walking hands say, I swallow your soul. So many Evil Dead references. Um, awesome game, Hope Your Games. May have been seen. Sorry. May have been Facebook. Pardon me. Yeah, Facebook can be very um, controversial. Fortunately, some people are very difficult to please. Social. Hang um, on a minute. Yeah, social media, love it or hate it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get off your bike. Hello, Defender Bega. Hello, buddy. Am I kicking too early or kicking too late? Right, so that's wasted a lot of time. How you doing, Defender Bega? Green Fire, yeah. Um, that was like Dra Dragon Ninja, wasn't it? The first, the first boss did that. Ah. Of course, that happens also in Vigilante. Can you get additional time in this game? It's one up, though. How's life in Portugal, Mr. Vantamiga? <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Save time. To the chin! Um. Uh, yes, I think all moderators are here now. Irene would be proud of this game. Yeah, back in the day, I didn't realise that Vigilante was IRM. I didn't realise that. You need a monster joystick. Yeah, I should do, actually, shouldn't I? Hmm. I could do. Michael Jordan. I suppose that, yeah, you can have more reach with the dagger and the nunchucks. Time. <laughs> Evil time! Evil time. Uh, it's a good idea, that is. Can I pause it? Yes. Right, we're back with a monster joystick. However, I need a weapon though, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Right, Blockbusters back. I love Blockbusters. Good memory to Blockbusters. Um, let's try this out. It's so messy. However, I'm not working tomorrow and I'm not working Sunday. I've got one more Saturday to work and then my 10 is done. But I've actually got two weekends off, which is quite rare, I have to admit. Yes! I <laughs> mean, business now, boyos! Uh, life is good in Portugal. For now, I have one game, one win in the World Cup. Good soundtrack of the game. Do you have pine do, you do pineapple on a pizza? Don't go there. Muggy Ensign's probably still here. <laughs> and this is a Hawaiian. If it's a Hawaiian, then yes. Hello to Brenry, good to see you. Oh, right, he's got the punch. I didn't know that. Right. Okay, that makes a quite a change, that does. I didn't realize this game had punches. Unfortunately, I'm wasting quite a lot of time on this. Get off your bike, body. How you doing, Brenry? Um, you missed Bomb Jack. Oh, <laughs> as you put it there. You missed that too. I did wonder if he had more attacks. That makes sense now. Yes, pineapple and pizza is quite a, a sensitive subject, it seems. And yes, I like pineapple, I do. I need some energy. I'm looking forward to hitting the manual. I'm finally going to find out a lot more about this game. Um, those thugs offend you, your family and your Shaolin Temple. It's going to be difficult though. It's not as good as a zipstick though. Energy bars. Look at that time too. Look at the energy bar. Awesome game. Homebrew. Low punch. The first trash can. Right. Okay. First trash can. Pineapple fan is here. Like blockbuster shop. The Tycon sign. All the bosses you have to be offensive to go in and jump kicks and punches, or you'll get destroyed. I'm right. Okay, I'll give it a try, but this is very early days. Oh, I've missed one. Did you get the idea from IK Plus? <laughs> or maybe Gallagher, maybe. The challenging stages. <clears throat> Run faster! Football. Um, pineapple pizza, even better with pizza the morning after. Yeah, I quite like cold pizza. Uh, Jamie, you're amazing at your bomb jack. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, loving good is good in Portugal for now. I have one game, one win in the World Cup. Well, all the best, mate, in the World Cup. I bet everyone's teams do well in the World Cup. Right, we'll move on to another game in a moment. Oh, that one, yeah? Trash, something about trash cam. Uh, no part of the first trash can. What, this one? Mind you, I'm wasting time doing this. Actually, women in the, in the private parts. Again, fantastic. We love arcades. Who doesn't? Oh, on the first stage. Okay, gotcha. Right, we've got weapons now. We can use weapons. Oh, I'm not impressed with that. 1943, got some Rampage there. Pac-Man, is that wrestling? Uh, Turbo, um, Kung Fu Masters there. Don't know what the one on it is on the left. I'm not sure on that one. Can't quite tell what that one is. 
Bobby Zipes, Sykes. Hello. Oh. Hold on a minute. Hello to Old School Gaming. Good to see you. Yeah, I didn't actually realise this has two buttons. I've had to plug in my um, monster joystick. Of course, I would rather use a zip stick. But yeah, I'm going to plug in this bad boy. Um, old school, yeah. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, this is the first I've got. I've not played it very much, I have to admit. I've been so busy doing other things and working, of course. Shift work is a bit of a nuisance. But we're doing it pretty much all my life. Get those tall guys. And yes, of course, this was, yes, G Neo Geo, wasn't it? Yeah, hope you were, buddy. Good to see you. Ow, poo! <laughs> Death by kick to the foot. Um. MVS is the arcade version of Neo Geo. Polybios, what's that? Ow! Hold on. Where did I get those nunchucks from? Looks like a Petrum. <laughs> Good old Mohawks, yeah. I did, I, I did have a friend that used to have one, a haircut like that. Right, numbshots, come to Papa. Right, first ever time I've done this. So much range. Yeah, again, like Dragon Ninja. It's the best weapon in Dragon Ninja. I'm gonna lose it. 1943, yeah, classic as well. And Rygar, yeah. Thank you, who is that? Oh, thank you so much, McDuck. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. So there you go, Mortal Kombat is dancing. Cyrax, mate, thank you. Giant boss, yeah. Right, this is where you need the nunchucks, really, don't you? Thank you so much, that's very kind. Yeah, I've not passed this one yet. Oh, it's an energy. Time! No, evil time in it. Now, thank you, uh, Sean, that's, that's Jonathan, that's very kind of you. Is the, um, is the lag any better? Or is it still 60 seconds behind? Right, listen. Right. Right. Don't lose it this time, Jamie. Oh, but this is a little bit late to the spawn, but it goes to turning round. Yeah, the Mohawks, yeah. See, he didn't turn around, buddy. He didn't turn around. Um, what movie is the whip chick from? It, does, it could be like Double Dragon. Could be Double Dragon. Jesse's big red button is at the top there. Probably some energy around here somewhere. Yes. Alright, hold on. Double dragon. Yeah, it could be double dragon, yeah. My lord, I can't compete with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Matter of life, so there we go. Fantastic game, though. Um. Uh, works on OCS2. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Uh, awesome weapon. 
Probably some 80s porno you watched back in the day, yeah? Giant boss there. Um, you can see, yeah, Rampage, yeah. Shame the Mega version. I mean, yes, that could. Uh, the Mega deserves a much better port of Rampage. But did play it loads back in the day. But yeah, I have played it on arcades. Not many times, though. Um, I saw some of these characters outside of Sunderland's Leisure Centre and some uh, down Seaburn back in the day. Um, the fall from screen is very vid yeah, very much so. Very much so. Double Dragon Nez took me years to beat. Don't, never finished it. Only on arcade and yeah, I think I have finished the media version, but yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Right, we're going to move over to the next game. Uh, I'm up for some sensible world of soccer because, of course, it is the World Cup after all. Now, of course, if you're not a fan of football, hopefully I can make it a bit more entertaining for you. But anyway, I'm very much looking forward to my box. Very much looking forward to that. We'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll do some Sensi, then... I'll tell you what, um, okay, we'll do some Sensi, then Interchange, yeah? You up for that, buddy? Okay, how do we quit the game? How it probably be the option screen, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, we'll just do just basically one game: England versus US of A. Right, how many more questions have I got here? Um, what is the most played football game? Any system you like, Jamie? It's getting a bit messy here. Got boxes all over the place. Um, hey, how you doing, um? Old style game, by the way. Good to see you. Always good to see you. But yeah, thank you very much for the subscription, Cat Boiler. It really means a lot. Now I'm going to play the one I played back in the day, which I did on my sports stream. Uh, it's not that. We go to Games One, which is International Edition. I think I know what yours is. Yes. If it's not a US Gold game, right? Yeah. It's Sensi. Imagine if, if US Gold did Sensi. You probably wouldn't like it then, would you? Um, I mean, take a get. Uh, could you probably guess how much hours you probably played? It was like a thousand, two thousand, probably close to three thousand now, I expect. Um, and of course, I was lucky enough to play Sensi with Swedish House on live stream. And yeah, he's, he's a lot better than me, of course. You'd expect that. But yeah, it doesn't be Amiga, it could be anything you like, any system you like. Shame we can't have all our massive games of Central World of Soccer. Same old games, but are super hard. Steven Scapegoat, how are you, buddy? Hope life is treating you well. Uh, never was into football games. Buy Football Glory on Amiga was somehow quite fun. I have played that one, I think. Well, I'm going to play that one. Uh, but yeah, basically, you can do one game. The game, which happened today, which apparently was quite a drip and drab match. Goal loss draw. Hopefully, there's no spoilers there. Uh, Tecmo Cup Sports, not played that one. Canada qualified for the World Cup for only the second time in history, ending a 36-year drought. If US Gold makes it a World of Soccer, it would have been a lousy football glory. Imagine that, eh? Every Friday and Saturday was a sensi night for a few years in early 90s. So much fun. Yeah, I didn't play it in the old, old, old days. I played it on the C32. I got it in 1994, I think. So I played it quite late. It took me a bit of years until I finally got around to play a bit, but yeah, it was a, it was a wow factor, it really was. I remember it well, I bought it from Computer World in Mason and Kent, it was £4.99. And yes, I was addicted to it. And of course, I was always changing characters, you know, you can go into the team to edit the team names, that sort of thing. Yeah. It's a classic, isn't it? You do have to be a football fan to like Sensi. Now, back in the day, I never called it Sensi. I was always calling it Sensible Soccer, but that's something that's all picked up over the course of time. You hate football, but Striker on Amiga is okay. I've got that. I won't really try to show you though, it's a green box. Jamie, that's not going to work in putting your joystick, or have I? I've got three joysticks going on here now. I'm plug that one. We don't need two button joysticks for FIFA. Sensing. You see why I have so many outtakes, can't you? However, this music is different on CD32, a CD32 version. AC Milan? No, oh, those. <laughs> uh, US Goals gets a bad rap, really. They published some good games, Monkey Island, and of course, yeah, um, Flashback, of course, yeah. I also did like Ghouls and Ghosts. I think Ghouls and Ghosts was good. But it needs sound effects. That's what it needs. It needs sound effects. 
Uh, right, we're going to go for 10 minutes. One game, 10 minutes. Seasonal weapon off. Yeah, we'll go with that. But yeah, I do apologise for those of you that don't like football, but it will be very short and sweet. But anyway, we go for a friendly. We go for basically what has happened today. Only difference is, I didn't watch it. I'm playing it instead. So England, and we're going to play the US of A, United States of America. Hopefully, you do better than a nil-nil draw, right? Um... Yeah, Schreiker was quite good, actually. Not as good as this. And not as good as Wembley International Soccer, either. Not only a football fan, but since it was more than just a FIFA game. Exactly. Why do I remember some of these names in Canon Well, because that's the creators, of course. Sensible Software. Um, yeah, hopefully I haven't spoiled it. Hopefully those of you who probably wanted to wait until the... I assume you still get matched the day. Wasn't hoping to not know the score and watch it on highlights. But yeah, if you was waiting for that, then that probably ruined it for you. Yeah, Sensible Software. Also, yeah, they did, they did Cannon Fodder, Cannon Fodder 2. They also did Sensible Golf, judging by its name. And amazingly, WizKid, which is completely nothing different from their usual stuff. But there we go, got some classic people there. Um, we'll go with that, we'll go with that. And then, of course, yes, you had, you had so many spin-offs as well. You had Space... Uh, sensible Soccer, one that took place on the moon. Uh, and also, you had Sensible Train Spotting. Yes, that was actually quite a good game, actually. Right, you've got a head start. Hold on a minute. Let's get in the shot. Get rid of that question. Uh, so, what are you guys doing at the weekend? What is your plans? Uh, the quick goal hack from kickoff. Kick kickoff was was good, but it was very difficult to score. I have scored a few goals, but nowhere near as much as Sensible World of Soccer. Right, is it low enough? It probably could do a little bit of a tweak. Um, football led them to war shame. A quick goal. Um, England versus United States. Let's go. Now, I have played the Mega Drive version, and you can you can certainly hold on to the ball a lot easier than this one. But that's what makes sense what it is. It's difficult to control, but it's all about... Oh, my Lord. Oh, my goal. There we go. Um, yeah. It's a, bit, it's a little bit too easy on the, uh, on the Mega Drive. Is that in shot? Own goal. Og. Og. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, I actually went to a venue and uh, I actually got to the semi-final and for some reason I said to the people that was doing the the, the, the event, you know, I'm going to be in the other room listening to, it was David Pleasance was there and of course I wanted to meet him and hear his story and I said to them, can you give me a shout when I'm, when you next need me in the next round? Yes, we will. They didn't, they didn't call me, did they? So I got eliminated. There we go. And that was all, that was the Mega Drive version. So, we have Paul Gascoigne, we have Alan Shearer, and Les Vernon, I think, up front. Um, you got the full set? Really? Have you really? That's cool. I have got, off the post, I have got three. Two box versions and a CD32 case. I very nearly said cassette there. Case version. Yeah, there's so many, isn't there? Unbelievable. How to Mr. Spud? How are you doing? You be watching the footy football? Um, I got Sega Genesis Mini 2. Oh, you, what's, your, what's, your, what's your impressions of it? Are you happy with it? It's good, isn't it? It's very good. I don't know what I prefer the most. The first one or the second one? I suppose the second one has more games you probably haven't sort of played before. The first one probably has a little more... Um, Popular games, you say, like your Shooters and Rages 2 and your Sonics, that sort of thing. But having the Mega CDs was a nice touch. That was cool. And of course, did the review video, which is done quite well, I think. Um, many people saw Sensi as a simple game, but the mechanics are excellent and you do have to develop skill. You do. 
We're going to get curled to the ball. Yes. Oh, one. Oh, no game off. Sorry, I misread that. Okay, sorry, Mr. James. Mate, you got to get one. Get one, buddy. Get one. Was you a fan of football back in the day? Ninja Boys is good, isn't it? Yeah, I was probably impressed with that. I do prefer the bigger version, but it is very, very good. The music, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. Woohoo! Alan Shearer! Um, Evening, Mr. Spud. Um, they didn't call you because you know you kicked their behinds. Yes. No worries, Jamie. I, f I was framed in the tourney today. I oh, really. Oh, what a nuisance. I don't bother. I'm always on the wrong shift. There's no point. You <laughs> hit oh, 22 minutes. It's much better extending the game time. It's over in a flash, isn't it? There. Good goalie. Good goalie. <laughs> um, chew up, chew up. Southgate should be sacked in the morning, frankly. Oh, really? Is it that bad? I remember the day we took that penalty back in the day. Who remembers that one? Uh, have you played Microprose Tiny Football yet? Is that the new one? No. If that is the one you're referring to, the new one, or if I'm getting a major tangle, no. Well, we're talking about an old game. No, also. They were dreadful, were they? How you doing, Mark, by the way? What games have you been playing recently? Also, um... Uh, Mark, I haven't found a decent ROM yet. It's still on my list. I will try and solve that for you at some point. I haven't forgotten about it. But yeah, what games have you been playing recently? In fact, everybody, what games have you been playing recently? Uh, excellent goal, thank you, Jonathan. Isn't that the easiest to get hold of, Rusty? Uh, Amiga Knight 697 should be sacked. It's already better than England. <laughs> That's, thank you, John. I appreciate that. It was always going to be better, wasn't it? Yeah. We don't want to stow 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, I went for 2-0. Well, I suppose we didn't lose. Uh, not retro, but seven days to die. Not played it, but I have definitely heard of it. Is that on Steam? Yeah, when it comes to modern, I, I very rarely play them these days. I can't remember what the last modern one I played, actually. It probably was Pac-Man World, I expect. Or Pac-Man Repack, what do you call it? Which is probably on stream. In fact, it probably was on stream. Uh, awesome. Uh, been playing Next Mach Machina again. Just keep going back to it. It's an unreal game. That's the game which features the guy from Blade 2, right? And Walking Dead. Not played it. Xbox is retro now. Is it really? At what point does it become retro when the next one comes out? Or does it have to be like sort of 10 years or 15 years? Can't be an instant thing. Oh, what will we let you have that? Hello to Josh, good to see you buddy, didn't see you there. How do you think about technology? It's USA versus England, looks like the US men's national team plays. Hi all, good to see you. It's 3-1. Yeah, I do apologise, anyone that's... When you think, I could still lose. I could still lose. <laughs> but apparently the game was pretty poo, I have to admit. From what I've heard. Corner. We'll, go, we'll go with that. A uh, great house mark game that I think refer Returnal to its best. Um, no, next McKenna is the eight way shoot. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I love Super Stardust. I love it. Fantastic. Bought that from HMV on my C32. Uh, the pubs of England are being smashed then. Oh, really? Well, unfortunately, you're always going to get controversy, aren't you? It's one of the reasons why I went off football. Footballers get paid too much. They do too much diving. Uh, and fans just take things too seriously. 
you know, if they lose or not happy with the results, it goes to violence, isn't it? Do sex, I've heard of do sex, yeah. I've definitely heard of that one. Not played it though! <laughs> um, next maker is Metro uh, Mo Robotron on steroids. Nothing to do with the Blaze of the Wesley Snipes. Oh, right. Okay. Is Wesley Snipes still acting? Is he retired? Made me with Deuce Ex Machina. No, they wait until they got knocked out of the cup before they kick in pubs. We are still in first half. Yes! I'll increase it to 10 minutes. Otherwise, it'd be over in a flash, wouldn't it? It really would, wouldn't it? Yes. If you do like a mini, 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 mini league, then yes, we'll, we'll do like three minutes. But I think. I thought it was actually 10 minutes full game. Maybe it's 10 minutes a half. There we go. Um, uh, Eric Wanolder scores. Not very realistic game. Was he, was he a defender, was he? Seven days is great, yeah? I'll check that one out at some point. Yeah, I hope you're well, Josh. Good to see you. Jamie, thanks so much. For very good of you. I've been playing Evil West, which has just come out on PlayStation 5. Nice, fun, third-person shooter. You having a bit of break from Tolkien, are you, Mark? But good to see you. Are you working Sunday? Uh, only game I had was Peter Beasley's Football on the Atari ST for Colin. Star Wars Republic Commandos on Xbox. Seven Days to Die, Soccer Pool Soccer 97. England will beat Wales though. Yeah, I can send you an email. Where do you get an early access code? Old Star Gaming, what's that? Uh, why do all players look like Maradona though? I missed quite a few there. Thank you. <laughs> England boss? I don't know. I don't know. What's going on here? A bit of confusion. Was it really that bad, was it? 47 minutes played. Sort of. Woohoo! There we go. Ox, this is more zoomed out. Is it too zoomed out? It's good for where I am. <laughs> uh, will sound will sound odd, but the great hearing, the sense it sounds though. 20 years plus ago, really added atmosphere. So Swedish, I probably have asked you this before. In fact, I, I think I definitely have asked you this before. What is the most goals you've scored in a single game? In fact, I have definitely asked you that before. But as you know, I do forget things. <laughs> Maybe the goldfish sometimes. I've still not seen it, but it does look good. Apparently it's six, an hour and 30 minutes. They used, they used to, Stephen, but not think anymore. Will sound odd, but it's great to hear the cinema says. Uh, I'm going to have to stream Bomb, Beer, Bomb Jack Beer Edition and Next Generation at some point before Xmas. There not there some countries that they barricade people to gates before riots? Maybe so, yeah. It's, it's bad though, isn't it? It shouldn't be like that. It's just a sport. It's just a game at the end of the day, you know. But yeah, unfortunately, fans take it far too seriously sometimes. But the world's gone crazy, isn't it? The world's gone mad. Hello to Robert Gray! Hello, everybody! How you doing? That's a leg. Woohoo! I don't tend to score my head! There you go. How are you doing, buddy? Again, great to hear from you the other day. And yeah, you bought yourself quite a few games. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. Have you been watching the game? Probably. What was your responses to the game? <laughs> who's that? Four. I don't know who number four is. Yeah, just in one game, Robert Gray. I don't know if it's ten minutes a half, or it might be ten minutes full time. I don't know. It could be twenty minutes. It might be twenty minutes. <laughs> no sending us off yet. I don't need any yellow cards yet. Um, it's called eight nil. Really? Um, oh, Graham Cowie. Uh, beat Fiji, 18 nil, really. Every time I think of Fiji, I think of Truman Show. One of my favourite films of all time. Uh, yeah, good to see you, Robert Gray. I think all the moderators are here now. Fantastic. Around 25 goals in Central Soccer, and around 20 goals in Central World of Soccer. Amazing. Don't know what mine is, I have no idea. 
but I did play it loads back in the day. Didn't play it as a two player back in the day. My brother didn't play this with me because he didn't. He hated football. He's always hated football. But yeah, it's weird. Some games we just didn't play as two player. We just took it in turns. Yes, I've got it over there. Truman Show. Ace. Jamie, it's in alphabetical order. I still can't find it. Yeah, one of my favourite films. Um, Jamie, have you played Key Off 2? Not today, but I have played it. Good, but I'm not good at it. It's difficult to score. Very difficult to score. But the game is a lot faster paced than this. And also the computer is just far too good. But yeah, and of course it's much more zoomed in, yeah. Um, Truman Show, yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? First time I saw that was actually on TV. I think it was actually Meridian. I can't remember what it was back in the day. But yeah, basically I caught it halfway through. And I carried on watching it. I thought, what on earth is going on? I had no idea what was going on. But after buying it and watching it from the beginning, yes, it makes sense. And it's very well made. Um, I'm glad the whole world isn't filming me. Graham Shrew is good. I'm not too bad, thanks. Thanks for asking. Spent most of the week at Physio, but I'm coming along fine at the moment. Uh, for those you who don't know, Robert Gray hurt himself quite badly. No, very, very badly, actually. How long ago was it now? Was it this year? Was it last year? But yeah, he's done some serious damage to his ankle. Uh, it's going to take about, about at least a year to recover. But he's doing all right. He's doing all right. What's the score now? I've no idea. Oh, my Lord! Jamie, it's getting a little bit close now. It's getting a little bit close now. Right, I, I wasn't expecting to be quite as close as this, but I'm trying to read at the same time. Um, five six, I can't believe it. Yeah, what a game though. That would certainly get your money's worth. If you went and saw this live. Jamie, we need to score. No, we need to score. But keep it out of your half. Yes, I'm starting to panic a little bit here. I didn't realise it was as bad as this. I don't know what they spoke about in the half-time team talk, but it worked for them. <laughs> Look, a shrieker! Where? Get in that net! No. Come on, you Reds! Come on, you Reds! Even just hold on to the ball, Jamie. Do what you can do. Just keep it out of your half. <laughs> Be on the striker, yeah. <sighs> However, I was always going for the attack formation. I don't know why. It's a bit of a risky experience, isn't it? I think it's been about three hat tricks. <laughs> I can relax a little bit now. Get it, Shearer. There we go. Yes, beyond the striker. Um, sub, sub, sub. Sorry for distraction. Mate, no worries at all. Uh, Steven State goes. No problem at all. It's great that you're here. It's great that you're here. Um, I would, yeah, first samurai is fantastic. Back in the day, I didn't get past the first level. It's a very difficult opening level. But I have got to level three. But yeah, it's, it's one of those games I will have to finish one day. Um, yeah, maybe one day. And also two. Apparently, there's got some very unusual woo, boss battles in the second one, too. Which Mr. Shaw has mentioned many times. But yeah, I haven't got past... Mind you, Second Samurai has a lot more levels than the first game. And of course, it's published by different companies. 
I still think the first one is the best, better one, I think. But two is also very good. Some nice additional features. There you go. Eight five. What a game, eh? What a game. Long road ahead. I love that Last Ninjas as well. Took me a lifetime to uh, play it on the CG4. I started with Last Ninja 3, which I was terrible at on a controller. Should have started with the first one. But I didn't play the first one, I was put up by the third one. I didn't score only highly, I don't think. Did long play the first one. I'd like to redo it at some point. Because I, I still think I can make my old ones better. Um, well, we should win it now, Gumbio. <laughs> we should do now. Woohoo! I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Um, <coughs> right, okay. So we're going for some interchange, yeah? Which I thought tied in with the change. I'm changing the setup. So interchange goes with well the change. But yes, those of you who are late to the stream, yes, I'm now in my living room again. I've moved all my setup from one place to the other, which you might have seen on the intro. Yes, the intro was different today. But there we go. I'm fantastically pleased with that. There we go. Have some, have some water. That would have been a much better game to watch. But if it was that in the real deal, none of you probably would be here. You're busy engulfed in that thrashing. There we go. Um, right, Interchange, Mr. Sean P. I'm up for that. Don't know a lot about it, have not played it very much. Played it for the first time last night. No, Josh, I bought one with some of the donations, but when it turned up, it was actually for teenagers and juniors, so it was too small. It might have been okay for me, but I'm quite a tall person, so I sent it back to Amazon. So, unfortunately, it's taken five to seven working days to get my refund. I haven't got it yet. So because I haven't got the refund yet, I'm now delaying getting the new one. So yeah, the chair I was sitting on while I was doing that last video hurt my lower back. And I thought, I'm not sitting on a stream, sitting on the stream, not going to do a stream with that. So I thought, no, we'll pass on that. So the only way is moving it back to the old way, which of course I'm fine with. But yeah, it's, it's cluttered in here, it really is. I do miss it in a way. <laughs> do I really? Uh, I'm 40 years old. Uh, right, this one has a different title, doesn't it? It's called Interphase... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I need to figure this one out. Uh, I did find it the other day. Well, yesterday, should we say. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Seen the, um, the front cover of the C4 version. You've got you're some sort of mosquito or something, or wasp or bee or something. And, of course, this version, you, you're not. But there we go. Uh, can we get it in shot? Basically, it's a puzzle game. Whoa, my chat's gone crazy. That loaded very quickly, too. Music and sound effects, but not at the same time. It's one of those ones again. Yeah, this is Sean P, this one. Jamie deserves a champion throne, just not just playing a gamer's chair. I will get myself a gamer's chair one day. I want to make sure it's the right one. But yeah, basically, I, I didn't think it through. I went with the one that Amazon recommended. There was two possibilities. One they recommended, and one that was the best seller. So I went for the one they recommended. Lord of Infinity, uh, no ways at all. Have a great one. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't read the description. I know it was cheap. £75 that cheap, I suppose so. But yeah, when I get myself the right one, I have to pay a little bit more on that. So yeah, once I get my refund, I also had to wait for payday as well. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of tough. This month has been tough. I, I haven't treated myself much. This has been very difficult money wise. Everything's just been happening at once. A lot of things are coming out of my bank account as unexpected, like car insurances and editing licenses, that sort of stuff. Dentist appointments also happened, which is expensive. But. I have got a pay increase at work, so that's going well. Right, I'll try and explain it, Sean P. I'll try. Now, I do actually know what the password is, because I got there yesterday. But we're going to start from the start. So, at the moment of time, I don't know. We'll go for that, of course, which is my name. I'll try and explain. Uh, basically... Yes. 
basically, what you got to do, and it's time, unfortunately, you basically have to complete the level by rotating the parts, which, as you can see, are incorrect, by rotating them around. You've got, if you fall off the stage, instant kill. You're hit by the enemy, instant kill. Once you've cleared the area and made it correct, then you move on to the next screen. But you do also pick up weapons on the way. Some of them are making you faster. Some of them um, is shields, and some kills all enemies on the screen. That's the one you want to try and get. Do it in a time limit, and you move on. Level one is complete. How many levels there are, I don't know. Um, yeah, take it easy, Lord of Infinity. And we are kids again, Stephen. Absolutely so. How are we doing with you? How are we doing with viewers, people? Leo says he likes your SS game. Oh, Sizzle Soccer. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Would it be a vlog? <laughs> there is a vlog that I'm working on. Yes, it's not finished yet. I'm waiting for the final piece of footage. Ladybugs, yeah. They can kill you here. Also, you can kill them. Which is not easy. It's all about timing. Basically, if you were to take the part that you're standing on at the right time, you need to kill them by... Basically, killing them with the, the, the wall. It's a bit like, um... Mean arenas, something like that. But also, you can do that to keep yourself away from the enemies. Um, speed up, I don't tend to get that one because it makes you a little bit too over the top fast. If you fall off stage, yes, that's what you can kill as well. But yeah, Sean P, never heard it back in the day. Right, that's the ultimate weapon, but I'm going to leave it though. That one there, there. There we go. Yes, you can shoot, only if you have the right icon. Which I don't know what one it is. Good music, but does it ever change? Or is it the same? It's the same thing you got to do every day, or a little, but more it gets more difficult, of course. Can I fight, can I? Well, when you have the icon to do it. Yes. Yeah, I like the music, yeah. I wasn't sure at first, when I first played it, I wasn't sure. Right, that kills all enemies on the screen. Boom, boom, pow. Well, right, we do have a time limit. To there. To there. Is it loud? Okay. Hold on. Um. Wanna chat with MJGBB Tarzan? Thank you very much for appreciating that, Mr. Andrew Shibrain. Um 32 watching, thank you, Boulder Bash. A bit like Pipe Mania, yeah. Jeremy Hunt is the infamisum. It's time to mass smash the like button. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Matt Mega. Um keep your heating off for UK. Not the one I recommended. Uh, have you done Devil's Temple or Wonderboy yet? Yes, on both of them. Still need to get a copy of Devil's Temple. It looks fantastic. Yeah, uh, Robert Gray. Yes, I've played Devil's Temple, Bomb Jack Beer Edition, Wonderboy, Sensible World of Soccer, and Night Shift. So we've got Minky to play, and... That's it. <laughs> yes. Better. Thank you very much. This one I struggled with, uh, Sean. I did struggle with this one. Um... But yeah, you can kill him like that, but sometimes it doesn't work to my advantage. Like, like that. No, it's wrong. That's wrong. Um. Yeah, I see where I've gone wrong. Time. Also, you can stop the time. Also, extend the time. Uh, yeah, that's where I've gone wrong. Put that to there. Put that to there. That's better. That makes you shoot, is that correct? Yes, there you go. Boom, pow. We love a bit of parallax. We do indeed, Mr. Gumdio. Oh, you nincompoop. I keep making that mistake. So when you respawn, they're put back to the original state. Um, yeah, so I'm pressing fire now. It's not firing now. So I'm assuming you've got to pick up the right icon. But then, like I say, it's all new to me, this one.
Right. There's one out of the equation. To there. To there. Right, I've got to go the other way round, haven't I? That one... I don't know what that one does. Right, I'm firing now. Right, hold on a minute, let's try and get this one done. Uh... Can I fire more than once? Look at that, double KO! Fantastic. Right, Jamie, get it done. Uh, to there. Catch up on the chat in a moment. Uh, time. Yes, that's low, isn't it? To there. Yes! Yes, superb. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Van Der Beek. Appreciate that. Toxic Waste Sun. The ammo is the bar at the bottom, I think. Oh, right. I didn't wonder what that was for. Uh, no, that's extra ammo. I'm pretty sure you can shoot anyway. I don't think so. I don't think you can. Just want to take the... Yeah, I can't find now. Right, stop time. No, you can get there fast enough. Always subscribed. Thank you very much. Again. Awesome. Dude. Long time subscriber. Long time follower. Press forward and fly at the same time. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Thank you, Mr. Sean P. Didn't know you could do that. There you go. Right, what's going on here? Right, we're final sinners now. It's like a shoot up. Oh. Try again. Got a bit greedy there, didn't I? Try, try, try again. <laughs> Stop time. Right. Stop. No hammer time this time, but we have stopped the time here. Oh, it bounces as well. Ooh. Now, shield is also as good because you can just run into the enemy and explode. Oh, that's so much easier, Sean Pear. I didn't know you could do that. Right, there we go. Now it's possible, yeah. Didn't realise. Um, Brad always has tried. Reminds you of Metal Gear. Metal Gear is fantastic. Now it's like if the chips had a gun. Did you ever finish that, Mr. Steven Sake guy? I've got to ask you about that one. Right, we should get a little code, which is Glenn. I'll write it down, even though I already know. Right, I've got all the questions. Um... Yes. Um... What three Amiga games would you like to play for the very first time again? Yes, and of course, starting it afresh again means you don't know about the game. You've got to try and learn about the game, which is also quite a fun experience. But yeah, I can think of a few, but what are yours? Top th what three Amiga games would you like to play for the first time again? Oh, Sean P, that's so much easier, mate. How do I not know that? Right. Uh, Token 1, Batman and Central World of Soccer for you. Not yet stuck on three doors. What level is that? It's like question time, isn't it? That kills all enemies on the screen. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's not right, I don't think. That is right. Down there. Don't fall off the stage. Yes. Batman is fantastic. I love that game. Uh, that was the first me game I got. Of course, being the Batman pack. Yeah. There. That. I don't know what that one does. There. The music sounds a little bit like uh, the Untouchables. Just a little bit. Uh, yes, Batman is fantastic. Sweetest House. We'll rather go back and do it all over again. Pirates, Central World of Soccer, and Moonstone. Four one Grand Prix, Sensi and Defender of the Crown. I've still never played Defender of the Crown, Mr. Robert Gray. Can I kiss C4 version, Token 2, Amiga for you? Yeah, you can do whatever. You can do C4, Amstrad, Specky, whatever you want to do. Go for it. Toxic Waste, yeah. This one is tough. I don't know a lot of the libraries. Um, oh, right, my mate. Do whatever. Want to do systems you're familiar with? Go for it. Would you Sega? Nintendo? Right, okay. I can't believe I didn't know that. 
Look at that. Running at full speed ahead. Um, hello to ooh, Daishi. Hello, Paul. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Stop time. There we go. No enemies, no time limit. Imagine that in every game. Isn't that the way to go? Hope you're well, Paul. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Super Mario, Dragon Warrior, and Zelda on the NES. Now, we shouldn't die here, Jamie. Of course, the only thing you can kill be here is fall off the stage. There. There. And... That's not right, is it? That's got to be right. Aha! Yes. That's there. Soul over there. There? Possibly. Yes, I know, I know, I know, yes. A little bit like Jumping Jackson, yeah. That's one as well. I yes, puzzle games are very puzzly. But we love it, don't we? We love it indeed. Jumping Jackson is one of those games I want to get as a physical version, but one day I will get one. There you go! Um, doing well, forgot it was Jamie's streaming Friday. No worries at all. Classic shoot LucasArts game, basically. Batman is great, I agree. Played it more on C4 though. Mega version is fantastic. Absolutely so. Batman is blind, no spies, Tarragon 2, Zap the Kraken and Hybris. Uh, Batman is great, never got bored of it. Me neither. Uh, it's much easier when you know you can shoot at a... Yeah, amazing, that's a game changer. Right away. Look at this. This is why I think I got to last night. But yeah, I couldn't figure out a... Well, I mean, I didn't know you could do that. So yeah, it makes it a lot more easier now. It must be limited. Surely it's got to be limited. Never heard the sound effects either. Um, but surely we don't have limited firepower. I'd make it too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, it is ammo at the bottom of the screen. Right, we're learning here. We are learning here. Oh, it's going so good now. Um, the ammo is about the bottom of the screen. Another world. Hello, stage nine. Good to see you. Another world, Prince of Persia, Future Wars. I've never played Future Wars. Time Travelers. Yeah, good to see you, Paul. Good to see you. And actually, finally, good to see you too, buddy. So what would mine be? Have a guess. Let's see how well you guys know me. What do you think my three me games I would like to play again for the first time? Let's see how well you guys know me. Ha! <laughs> then I'll tell you. Hopefully you guys all know. <laughs> right, okay. So, Sean P is the furthest I've reached. There you go. You see, it's easy, isn't it? easy. <laughs> and what else? Kills all enemies on screen. Fantastic. Two of them are correct. You've got them all right. Everyone, yeah. Build smart game. Shadow of the Beast and R-Type. Pidia. Yes, I would like to play that first again as well. If it's supposed... Basically, it's my top three again, isn't it? Isn't it? It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, if it was a top five, then yes, I suppose Agony and... Not Agony, sorry. Apidia. And... Zedon 2. Robocod is, is fantastic. Yeah. I can't remember what age I was when I first played it. But it was, again, it was a brilliant game. It's still brilliant to this day. Right, move on to another game soon. Might need to go some requests soon, too. Phobia. Phobia is good. That's a good game. Long, though. It's one of the longest shoot maps on the Amiga. I haven't played shoot. Uh, I might have done, but more, I think I played it on the CC4. Right, this is not going well, this one. I do like it, yeah. I do like it. No, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. It's much more better. It's, how stuttery was that? Now I know you can fire. Yeah. 
But one button on the keyboard, you can switch the sound effects. It's not going to have a lot though, is it? Uh, increase the volume. Um, Bonsai Monster, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. Here's the true chip. Here's the true trip. That's a lot of T's, that is. The true chips m master. Yes. It's a lot of levels in that game. I didn't realise. But yeah, I have played it on the city floor. Not the Mega. Lots of bing boing boons. Um, music's better, isn't it? Oh, what happened there? I broke it. I pressed S. And that happened. Right, I think I, I think that's broken, don't you think? <laughs> right, okay. Um, well, I haven't broken anything for a while. I'm on quite a decent run here, off my chair. <clears throat> right, if you're going to turn the music off and then turn it back on again, that's what happens. And I can't quit it. Oh, my Lord. Right, reboot, reboot, reboot. I press S. S for silly thing to do. There we go. Probably a difficult question to answer. Which games do you hate on the Mega? My look, that is a difficult one. That is Lethal Excess is fantastic, as well as Wings of Death. Good soundtracks. Could play one of those. Yes, could do. Um, gonna quick, quick, quick go of Minky, and then we move. Yeah, I'm up for that. A little bit of Wings of Death, or yes, I'm up for that. Right, reboot. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. Memory error? I don't know. It's got plenty of memory. It shouldn't have an issue with that. Like that. Uh, I'll write that down. Uh, Lethal Excess. I do prefer Lee Wings of Death more, because I played that one a lot more. But yes, the music is fantastic, yeah. I have finished it, but I had to use Continues. Right, this is also another new game. This is also on floppy disk. Nebulous, fantastic. Nebulous 2, I've always preferred that one more, being the first one I've played. It's a monkey! It's a monkey. Came out 2022. The Mega's still going strong. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of games I dislike. Back in a minute, TV's also going to turn itself off if you can't see any I can. Right, we're going to go to a Be Right Back screen. I'll be back in a moment. Be right back. about that people hello everybody <laughs> oh what's that how that little thing get in there a bit late now though Jamie Jasper's in the house y'all hello you're gonna come here Jasper I know this is a really diff difficult change for you isn't it Yeah, I have to think about that one. Games of dislike on the Mega. Um, dungeon Crawlers. I'm not a fan of Dungeon Crawlers. But I can sort of tolerate those more than RPGs. And strategy games. Um, I don't think. Jasper, come here. Jasper, come here. There's a monkey on the screen. Come and look at the monkey. Jasper, come here. 
Gaspar! Probably won't. However, this is where he likes to sit, on this chair. This is his new place, so he's probably not impressed I'm just to get his chair, but he, sometimes he might sort of sit behind me like that. Which you might have seen, he did exact that on the intro. Nightmare is fantastic, but yeah, it could have been better. Um, I don't dislike it, it just wasn't as good as I was expecting. Jasper is actually behind the green screen. There we go, he's there. He's there, he's right there. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Jasper, don't! Jasper, he's... Ha! <laughs> Jasper, you... Ah, that skin, Jasper! Ha ha ha! Ow, Jasper, yes! You've actually... Ooh. He's in a playful mood, isn't he? He got bitten by my green screen. That doesn't happen on rainy basis, does it? Uh, right, let's go. So again, a very small character. Quite a lot of new me games, that is the case. Yes, when cats play, it can be a bit painful. Especially when they can't see you. But yeah, he's basically been invisible by the green screen. No time limits. Is it too loud? Let me know. <laughs> Um, Invisible Cat. Jasper, activate attack mode. I find it amusing when people like it. Um, been watching Old Nightmare. I love the Old Nightmare. The original Nightmare is fantastic. The original ones, the earlier ones, I do prefer the most. Um, as it develops, they add a little bit too much to it. You know, I wasn't a fan of the Ice Shield. It was a nice touch though. But it did slow the game down. I like the earlier ones. It was much, much faster paced. Now in this game, basically you play as a monkey. You've got to try and find a quiet concept of coins on the screen, then find the exit door. No time limit though. Now you kill enemies by jumping on their heads, and also you pick up these balls, which you can throw at the enemies. So at the moment of time, we've got two. You don't go in the water, believe it or not, you can't swim. Now he doesn't have to, doesn't have to read the farthest of jumps, but yeah, some pixel perfects might be needed here. Not too loud, perfect. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a few games, new ones like this. You had uh, Squats, one, two, three, four, I think it was. How you pronounce it, I don't know. You also had um, Trap Runner and is it Black uh, Cherry Strawberry Cheesecake or something like that. That was also quite a small character. Um, yeah, the theme tune is fantastic, yeah. It still is, it always will be my favourite program of all time. Second place, I don't know, probably Red Dwarf, I'd expect. Um, this quality, yeah. Corridor of Blaze, amazing, yeah. So many got killed by that. Imagine it was an 18 rated version, probably decapitate and see their spines, I'd expect. Imagine that. How oh, I did see a little bit of behind the scenes. Basically, it's just a blue screen, isn't it? That's all it is. But it's so well done. Um, is it a monkey that had better watch out for the elephants and the lions? It's definitely a monkey, a very small monkey. I haven't seen a three-headed monkey today, but this will certainly be his sort of game. Um, it was Pioneer in Chomaki in TV. One thing I didn't actually realise, but of course in Maidstone in Kent, which is probably about half an hour drive from here, we have Leeds Castle, which doesn't take place in Leeds. I didn't actually realise that some parts of that castle was also filmed as Nightmare. I didn't know that. I have to admit, I did not know that. But yeah, look at some of the scenes. You look at that, it's actually Leeds Castle. Yeah. Yes, it, it went, you went, yeah, of course I saw it on your post on Discord. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Um, well, Minky looks amazing. It does look like a mouse, doesn't it? the ears. Um, I find it amusing when people like it. I better check out out on Amiga Live. It, I was like seeing a ghost bite. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he caught me. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's just playing. But yeah, it's not a bad bone in his body. It really isn't. He's a gem, that cat. Um. No, that was a different place. Oh, right, I didn't post this one. But I do visit Nightmare Castles if I can, yeah. I don't think I'm going to jump over that. I'm going to be some backtracking. Right, we've found all of the coins. Now we've got to try and do is find exit door. 
Nightmare is a game show which featured once a week back in the day on two, uh, children's television. Basically, what it is is you have a dungeoneer. Basically, he wears a helmet, which is called the Helmet of Justice, and you have three people that guide you. Basically, it was more for the younger generation. So what happens is your dungeoneer goes into these very difficult areas, and they can't see ahead of them. They can't see anything apart from just down below. Which is good because some areas you've got to try and find food. Food replenishes your energy. And you put it in your knapsack, which is basically a rucksack you put around your shoulder. And basically, because you can't see ahead of you, you've got to use the three people in the studio to guide them through the hazards. And it can be anything from bottomless pits, the swamps, snakes, even spiders. And it was so very, very good to, to watch. And yeah, search for it on YouTube. It's bound to be there. Every episode is probably bound to be there. But I think there's about nine series, something like that. But it's absolutely fantastic. I watched them to absolute death back in the day. I always filmed them, recorded them on VHS and watched them back repeatedly. But yes, you had Trey Guard, he was a dungeon master. And I added a few more additional characters over the course of the way, including Pickle, who was like an elf. Don't know why I did that in that pitch, I have no idea. But yes, they also introduced the shield, uh, which you allowed to see further distances. Uh, and also they had the magnifying glass, which you can spy on the baddies, basically, and see what they're up to. But basically, yes, you've got to try and avoid the baddies. The baddies are basically there to stop you. But yes, you've got to try and replenish your energy. Run out of energy, you die. Get killed by an enemy, you die. Fall into the bottomless pit, you die. But yeah, it was just really well done. Does that answer the question? <laughs> yes. What killed me there? What was that? I didn't see what that was. Maybe I'm playing Nightmare after all. Can't understand why they never released Nightmare on Games Master on DVD. They should do, shouldn't they? But yes, it's basically a TV show, yeah. Um, never seen it before, no? Try it, mate. Google it. It's fantastic. Um, was it a B? Oh, right. Didn't realise. That was definitely a snake. Right, come on, Jamie. This is silly. We can do better than this. But also, don't forget, Jamie, we can actually throw things. Like that. Right, we've got to find eight coins. Stunned or bottom? That's a nasty way, isn't it? I've only been stunned twice. One on the finger, one on the foot. Basically, I stood on one. I was taking the, taking the rubbish out, but I didn't have any shoes or socks on. I stood on one. But it burnt. It stung underneath my foot. The other one, I was basically looking for bugs. There was this concrete block, which I moved. And for some reason, there was a bee or wasp behind... No, it was a bee, Jamie. Behind it, stung me right on the finger. Never been stung by a wasp, though. My, my brother has, which is why I don't like them. Because I'll never forget seeing him running down the garden in absolute agony. I've been stunned by one. Um, I was thinking Tomicon 2 and Fire and Ice. Fantastic games, both of them. It was the wasp from Weird Dreams that killed you. Pretty much. Just a small scale, basically, yeah. Um, James Ponds, great game as well. Spyglass in the Spyglass, yeah. I love the grading backgrounds. In fact, it's a good poll idea. What games have best gradient backgrounds? I don't know, quite a few though, isn't it? <laughs> quite a few. I mean, some games, all you have is just a plain back background, like, you know, like, um... Bubble Bubble, or uh, Adam's Family. But yes, yeah, some you have a bit of Parallax. And of course, we'd have a bit of Parallax. Let me gum the O. Uh, Lionheart is, is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, mate, back in the day, Nightmare, then Crystal Maze, and Gaze Master. We had it so good, didn't we? We've had, this, we've had a conversation at work about it, and people were saying, What do you watch, Jamie? I'm like, I don't. Why? Because I don't. <laughs> However, I still have not told anyone about my channel, but yeah. But we're still having occasional conversations at work. I'm still trying to find out a little more information about these dudes and find out if any of them actually did play many games. And I'm getting there slowly. I'm finding out a little bit more information. Stage 9. Was stung by a hornet as a kid. Hands swelled up like a baseball glove. That's bad, buddy. I've never seen a hornet. Not my own two eyes. 
Beast Games had some amazing gradients. Yeah, Beast, Shadow Beast 1, great memories of that one. That absolutely blew me away when I first saw that. So, of course, I'd love to go back and do it again. But if I was doing it again for the first time, I'd probably go back the wrong way. I think we all went right to the left. We always try to go to the castle to the tree. And you go into the castle, it's pitch black. Pick up the torch and you can see everything you're doing. Without it, it's pitch black. Right, we'll do one more level and move on. Platforms also fall beneath you. Find 14 coins. Now, falling from a height won't kill your character. Fall in the water will kill your character. Now, whether you're a mouse or a monkey, you cannot swim. The challenge is good. Uh, not many people beat Nightmare over the numerous series. It was very difficult. Yeah, I mean, I was quite disappointed when they... They died very early on, because I really want to get to level 3. Level 3 was it really goes up a few gears. That's when it's, it's, very, it's a lot more fast paced, and I love that. Um, I'm going to die here. But yeah, they used to die on like level 2, I was like, oh, because you go back to the start again, it's slow paced again, but the earlier seasons were pretty much fast paced throughout. And of course, you pick up items. It's like, it's, I suppose it is like a game in a way, like a point and click game. You pick up items and use them along the way. But you're only limited to two items. So of course if you have the item for the right thing, then you should be okay. Also you have spells, you do spell cards, you spell it. Some of you find out from other characters. Which is basically actors, basically. Or actors, actresses. Um, but yes, sometimes if you haven't got the right item, you can't go anywhere. So you're going to die, aren't you? But yes, uh, Stage 9, good to see you by the way. But yeah, how long did that take to recover from that? You must have been playing quite a lot of baseball after that sting. Cute game. Uh, I like this game. It's simple but effective. Yeah. I like the soundtrack too. Your monkey never tires. He does pant, doesn't he? He's like, yeah. I assume he's panting. I keep forgetting to throw those though. Uh, Onslaught, played that. Uh, intense, Gradient Sky. I played it once on stream. I'm gonna die here, make the impossible jump, but gets killed by a slow worm just after. Pretty much, pretty much. Monkey shouldn't be killed by a worm, really, should he? He shouldn't really, should he? I'm pretty sure a monkey will probably eat a worm. But I don't think that's a worm, that's probably a snake, isn't it? I haven't seen a green worm before. Right, scorpions, I thought you couldn't jump on those, but apparently you can. I was on holiday about a week, I think, yeah? That's crazy, I've never seen one before. Oh, you need a Five more finds. Monkey see, monkey do. I'm good, move, been non-stop renovating, yeah? One thing I would like to do is, is move. Renovating, I can't really, not me, I don't own the property. Um, every summer there is a huge hornet at my father's house, but so far it's been friendly. A friendly hornet, really? It won't be friendly if it stings you on the bottom or on the hand. Did nobody ever watch Consulvania? Never heard of it, Mama Grey. Uh, it was video game, video game, didn't it? it was games magazine show similar, similar, but it had rab. Florence in it. The new game tomorrow's a hose. I'm sure you, there is a loads of episodes on YouTube. I don't know that one. No, I haven't heard that one before. Was that on Sky, was it? Hmm, I don't know that one. I think one. I do learn so much from these streams. I also liked when games attack. That was on Bravo. That was good as well. And of course, Go 8-Bit was a more of a modern one. That was good as well. That was challenge, wasn't it? Three, two. BBC Two might have just been Scotland, though. Mm, I didn't know that one. But I'll certainly have a look at that, Mr. Robert Gray. Right, hearts are lights, believe it or not. Right, I've done it in the right order. That's fine. So there's the exit door. But we're going to go around a loop, I think. 
because you can't jump that high. Now, if you're playing squats, you can actually jump higher by jumping on enemies' heads, not here. I have played it on the CD4, not the Amiga though. But I do like the sound effect, like the soundtrack on the CD4. Wasn't the video game high school show on Netflix? If you're talking about Netflix, which you clearly are, you've never ever used Netflix before. Uh, how long did Mr. Wall is probably in the land of Z's? And that I guarantee, because he likes this game. And uh, he'll watch it back tomorrow, I'm sure. The awesome Mr. Wall he is. He's in the land of Z's. Bless his little cotton socks. <laughs> as long as he's well, though, he's had a rough time. He didn't like it. No? I suppose it was more comical, wasn't it? More of a comedian thing, wasn't it, I suppose? It all depends on what the guests are like. If you've got good guests on it, or bad guests on it, or ones that irritate you, then you're probably not going to enjoy it. But yes, I suppose it wasn't that much of... I don't think there was ever an Amiga game on there, I don't recall. Right, I'm going to move on to the next game now. So, we're going for some requests. However, I'm quite tempted to try out Wings of Death. I'm very, very tempted. Giant evil wasps, yeah. Hornets, not monkeys. Well, the hornets in this game were the same size as your monkey, basically. Disney made a horror movie called Stay Alive, Die in the game, Die in Real Life. Oh, really? Disney? I don't know that one. That sounds bad, doesn't it? It sounds weird, Disney making a horror movie. Right, how do you quit this game? Like that. Cute mouse. Uh, yes, you did. You did. We're going to play some... Yes, why not? The music is sensational. It is really, really good. Both games are, actually. Of course, Mr. Andrew DeBryan has a box version. A version I would like to get as well. Yes. Um, uh, they are things you have to duel with when you remove them. You can't just swap them. It's a battle. Pretty much. Right, okay. Now this is going to be very easy to find because not actually that many W's. Have I got any questions? Have I said them all? I said that one, I said that one, I said that one, I said that one, I said that one. I think I've said them all. Yeah. Uh, w. Oh yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I, I bought it. I think it was about $5.99. Uh, I also bought Wonderboy. I did a donation as a, a, a well for that as a thank you. I think they deserve it. I think all creators deserve it. Um, actually, there's actually quite a lot of W's, isn't there? My lord. Now, this game is essential. You pick up the right weapons. And don't get the skulls. Downgrade you. Uh, that's fantastic, Dice Shares. Brilliant. Now, of course, uh, Lethal Excess, also known as Wings of Death 2, is a little bit more difficult, I think, than this one. But I did play this one a lot more than Lethal Excess. The yeah, Elder Side, I've not played it on the Mega, only the Civil version. This year I've done battle and defeated 12, so also Hornets. Oh my lord. And you put Wonder Boy. Fantastic! Brilliant! You have! And we told them! Yes, and we told them! I remember, buddy, I remember. I saw the post. It is brilliant, isn't it? Uh, and then sticking to only the... F yes, exactly. Don't pick up something else. That's one of the problems in this game, is trying to keep the weapon. Once you've got one, you want to stick with that weapon and don't get anything else. But as soon as you pick up a skull, you get that evil laugh, and it downgrades you. Music's amazing. Yes, I agree. Sporting media software is a wise choice. I drink to that. It's not alcohol, it's water. So how is the um, chat speed? Is it any better? Is it still really, really slow? 41 likes, thank you everyone. That's really kind of you. Superstars, you are superstars. I bought it yesterday, okay. The trick of this game is choosing the right firepower that's best for each level, yeah. Or just get one and keep it. Don't downgrade it. 
Why is it? It's enters. No. Right. Okay. Is it in shots? I can't really pause this one. I don't want to break the flow. Um. Music's amazing. Uh, some good shooty shooty action. I am a Kirby superstar. How are you now? Hello to Stephen Kirby superstar scapegoat. Yes, I know you like your Kirby. Yes, Mr. Raw's daughters like a bit of Kirby as well. I've not played... The only time I played Kirby was not actually a Kirby game. It was actually in the... Um, what do you call it? On the Wii. Smash Brothers. And Kirby's in that. You can kick kick some serious butt as a Kirby in that game. In fact, you kick some serious butt in anyone in that game, really. But not on Amiga. It was not on Amiga. Kirby's fun. Right. Uh, that's a very small screen, Jamie. And we can pause it and the music doesn't stop. That's brilliant. Right. Let's go. Now it does give you a little bit of warning of what things are going to harm you. Now you're going to get absolutely loads of power-ups in this game. It's a case of, like Sean said, keeping it. Now I'm going to try and stick with this one. This one is actually a good one. As soon as you pick up something else, it'll switch. And it's difficult to keep it. I mean, yeah. Well, that's been thought that's diabolical, Jamie. We can do better than that. Uh, song sound familiar, yeah? Right, okay. In fact, Jamie, we start off with this one. Now, this is actually called the triangle, believe it or not, in a from excess. It's not called that here. Spread fire. It's called spread fire. And it's like missing on the tin. Yeah, dragon fire, I tend to pick on one of the later levels. Now, you do have an energy bar in this game. But the, it's actually going the other way. So when the bar is full, then you die. Hello to Pickaboo, I see you. Hello to Nipshin, good to see you. Hello to France. How are you doing? Energy. Energy, yes. Auto fire. Auto fire. Yes. Just don't get no, you don't want speed. You don't want too much speed in this game. That is correct. Energy. But energy, yes. That you're gonna want to have. Yeah, that one, isn't it? I'll stick with this for now. I can't remember what that one is. Uh, anyway, let's keep, keep going. I suppose there is a lot of trial and error. I think the power-ups are in the same places every time. If I remember rightly. Energy. Yeah, hope you're well, Nipshin. Good to see you, buddy. Hello to France. Of course, it's now 10 past 11 for you. No, I don't want to go too quickly. Mm. Not going to miss that for a biscuit. Um, yeah, it can be a bullet hell, this one. It really can. But what is difficult when it's so many things to dodge, and it's not always the enemies you want to try and dodge, it's the skulls. So if I want to pick that up, then yes, it will go back to a single bullet. I won't lose the weapon, it will just go back to the weakest form. That's a good weapon, too. Life. And that's always interested me why the Xenon Mega Blast spaceship is there. Always interested me that. Hunter. Hunter, that's good. Don't say we on the tent also. So what are you doing this weekend, guys? I never got into this game, it didn't feel right. Yeah, I didn't play this back in the day, this one. Um Yeah, just definitely one I played late in my life. Oh, yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah, I can see why people probably wouldn't get into this one. But the music is very good. Energy. 
And of course, we have boss battles. It's actually, the levels are actually quite long. That's better! Now we're final cinders! But yes, pick up a skull will change everything. Literally everything. Level 7, yeah? I think it's got 8 levels, isn't it? Um. So, Energy Blind, any more box versions you've got your eye on at the moment of time? I mean, if you're a collector, to ching to ching there's a pound for Get It UK. There's always going to be one you want to get. It will never stop. Right, boss battle. Another thing I don't like about this game, there's not much I would change about this game, but you basically lose all your weapons when you finish a stage. Which I don't, I don't approve of that. You shouldn't lose all your weapons when you just finish a, a level. Lose a life? Yes, I understand that. But you shouldn't lose your weapons when you finish a stage. Um, No, I haven't long played it, but I would like to. But I have finished it, but I had to use continues. Uh, go west by the Tret Shop Boys, a little, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Because you need to be on a bat on next level, I think. Yeah, I think... I can't remember what I go for, but yeah, it's, it's one of those games, it's a lot of trial and error in them. You've got to just decide which is the right weapon for you. 50 frames per second would be good, yeah. Which of death was your last one, Jamie? Look at the Triforces you are wasting, Jamie. Yes. This game needs a remake with smoother scrolling. Yeah. I mean, I'm using my... I'm, it, it's not scrolling brilliantly on my TV. I'm not using my uh, OSSC either. Because I've had a few problems with that. Not normally, but streaming, yeah, it can be. Red fire. Yeah, also... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Red fire. Not spread fire, it's the um me Mega Ball? I don't know. That Circle Blast. Circle Blast, yeah, that one. Yeah, this one I think. I mean it looks a bit weird at first. And yes, it's difficult at first, because it's not going many areas. If you want to shoot straight forward, then yeah, it's going to be a problem. But of course, you want to try and stick with it, upgrade it as much as you possibly can. And then you start firing the directions you want to be firing in. But I just don't approve of losing your weapons at the end of the stage. Um. Shield is very handy too. Right, that kills all enemies on the screen, that's fine. There wasn't many there in the first place. It is, yeah, it can be a bullet hell, this one. Um, yeah, what it needs, you need to have, like, some sort of weapon, or a button at least, where you can just go back to a previous one, rather than lose it all together. Yeah. Yes, we are on the back now, basically, yes. Um Speed. 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 Uh energy, yes. It's crazy already. Uh, hold on a minute, I can't read that. Uh, um, take it easy, you offer you, Rusty James. Have a good weekend, buddy. Have a really enjoyable time at the, uh, the, the um, crash event. Energy. Fantastic. Looking forward to seeing your photos, if you are going to take photos. Yeah, keep it full, buddy. Crash. Did I say crash? I don't know what I said. Yeah, have a good time. Um, oh, poo! Hold on a Oh well. Um, you have great level three firepower. Don't switch to another creep. No, I won't. Or, well, I don't know. I'll try not to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, early start for you. Yeah. 
have a great one, buddy. And again, thank you for continuing support, buddy. You're a superstar. Creepy bug. Yeah, big, big bug. How? Oh, that's not the end of the boss, though. That's a little stupid, basically. Oh, poo! I mean, I'm not actually gaining a lot of weapons here, am I, really? No, it didn't actually mean to do that. Oh, well. I suppose it is more powerful. Yeah, it is certainly a lot more powerful. I'll just stay with it now. I mean, that works too. Um, drone fire, yeah, basically. <laughs> that also does exactly what it says on the tin. But yes, every time you pick up a weapon, it changes the way you're looking as well. So yes, we're actually a, a much bigger character now. Let me work start. Energy. Um. Yeah, it's all about learning where the weapons are. Ouch. It's nice this game is auto fire as well. That's a help. Keep the dragon fire, yeah? I'll try. Energy. Yeah, uh, energy supply. I've tried to find a box version of this. I can't find one. Not in decent condition, anyway. It's quite a rare one on eBay, this one. Dragon fire. These unusual patterns. Right, boss battle. Basically a giant ladybird, like the one you see in Interchange. Um, yeah, have a good one, Rusty James. Health is critical, yeah. It's weird that it goes the other way, isn't it? It's critical, but it's full. Now, the weakness is the front, but yeah, with this, okay, it's not... Got the, you know, the, the widespread of our ones, but it is powerful. Um, yes, it's, it's his brother. It's his big, 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 it's big brother. Yeah, it does look good, buddy. Yeah, it really does. Woohoo! There you go. Not professionally done, though. But again, we lose our weapons. Uh, here it came back. Um, Wings of Death sounds metal. I have got the album, give it a try, by... Oh really? You've got it, Andrew Spine. Of course you have. Of course you have. Yes. That's fantastic. Boop -boop pow Boss goes down, have some of that. That's fantastic. Another fantastic track. Right, um... I'll go over that. I wasn't planning to. Enemies appear from behind you, but lethal excess does give you more of a warning, doesn't it? So it's probably best to stay in the middle of the screen. Rusty James treats, treats himself tomorrow. I'm sure he will. What was the last event you guys went to? It's been ages since I last went to one. It's a good one to pick, is it? Gatekeepers and atmosphere. Um, yeah, this is good. When it's fully maxed out, yes, this is a good one. It basically shoots everywhere. It's just difficult to get it to that point. And knowing where the power ups are. Um, 
of damage, Jamie. Um, yeah, circle blast, isn't that? Yeah, some weapons did feature again in the sequel. But of course, there were some new ones thrown in as well. Cool level and music. Yeah, music's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, this is very difficult to figure out any patterns, yeah. Yes, I'm not really getting the, the luck of the weapons at the moment time. Dark Souls from the past, yeah, pretty much. Um, oh yeah, I actually finished this uh, early, this, <laughs> early this year, actually. I was quite surprised how long the game is. Right, okay. Get in there. Not like that though, Jamie. Stuck in a corner, can't get out of it. Right. Avoid that bottom corner. A bit, yeah, yeah. Do we fall it like that? But yeah, it does look like him, doesn't it? Maybe it's order six six, right? Order sixty six. Kill all Jedi's. Uh, talk to the Schlump Master. Open sessions. Favorite match of Mister Andrew Bryan. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's, also, uh, it's also in the description of this video. It should be. The link to the Discord if you want to join it. Um, yeah. Talk to the guys. Yeah, de <laughs> a decapitated pal palpy. Yes, I've never said that before. But now I have. Boss battle not too far away, I don't think. We need one more upgrade, really. There is one, but it's surrounded. My oh, lord. Uh, I learned Palpatine was one of the strongest users with a lightsaber, even though he hated using them. Oh, really? Um, he couldn't beat um, Yoda with one, though, could he? Well, sort of, I suppose. It was more of a draw, that one, wasn't it? Take it easy, Lister Swedish House Amiga. Take it easy, buddy. Have a good weekend. Um, uh, nice lodging. Mm, could have been better. It's like Dark Souls from above. Cool level of design. Yeah, have a good one, Mr. Swedish House. Of course, now it's 20 past 12 for you. Um, right, okay. Not my greatest performance, but we'll see what the future holds. What games should we try out? Any more suggestions? Let me know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave it as that. Work in progress. Um, come to the dark side. Yeah, basically. What do you want to see next, people? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mind you, I was going to play Saint Dragon, wasn't I? Maybe. Leave a weapon? I have a box version of that. However, I will get copyrighted for that. But I think I probably have already been copyrighted for this stream. Probably with Bomb Jack Beer Edition. I have it. I have it here. Yes. Tough game though. But not played it for a while. Um, but yes, it's pretty much only the casual Hellsbeck. And it's mostly um, Barry Leach. Which I tend to get copyrighted. But there we go. I'm not overly bothered about that. It's a great game. Let's give it a try. Lethal Weapon. Yes. Where is it? Can't find it. There it is. Uh, Shrier 2. I've still never seen it on the media, but I've heard it's horrendous. If you play G... After this, I will. <laughs> After this, I will. It's not there anyway. Where is it? It's not even there. Wait right, a minute. I think this has happened before. Um... Uh... Ouch. 
Hang on a minute. For some reason it's not there, so I have to use a disc. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got to hold on for about 10 minutes. I'll give it a try, Mr. Spears House. Right, again, we're using floppy disk. For some reason it's not there. Never mind. Good old discs, of course, they don't last forever, but in this case, it saved my bacon. There we go. Pretty. It's tough though. Tough game though. Good music though. Risky Woods. I got so far in that the other day. I got to level 12. I got to the final boss. You never thought I'd get that far in that game. It's brutal though. Yeah. And so is this. Um, it looks really cool when I played it. Not sure what I think of it now. I'm playing level weapon these days. I'm stuck in the first level. I've not tried that one. Well, it's quite a nice touch. You can actually uh, decide what level you want to do first. I've not experimented with different ones. Just go for the first one, bottom left. Yes, I love the nostalgia of it. Yeah, I love buying them. We've been buying them for years. And I will always keep buying them until I die, basically. That's going to stop me. Night Night 2, Warner Brothers by Ocean. Yes, I saw Jeremy almost finish Missy Woods, but final boss so hard. But you need decent weapons. One fireball is not going to make a dent. Yeah. One day, one day, one day. And I love the art style as well, it's really well done. But yeah, this game is quite rare for a game called Lethal Weapon that you have limited ammunition. Quite rare for a game like this. But it's the second level which is the killer. It really is a killer. So many blind jump. There we go, we are rigs. There we go. Yeah, Risky Words is another game which is a lot of trial and error in that one. But yeah, some of those statues which you've got to rescue, some of them are actually bad statues which can harm you. But even with a manual, I've got a manual, I've got a box, I still don't understand the power up system in that. Because some weapons, it's basically a 50-50 shout. One time you might pick up the weapon and it'll, it'll work against you. And you, know, you might pick it up later on to get in and it'll work for you. But yeah. Some will drain your time. Some will drain your energy. Some will give you time at the cost of energy. Some will give you energy at the cost of time. It's difficult. Yeah. And also pick up those coins and cause so many spawning enemies. But the game is fantastic. It really is good. Right. But yes, I will be copyrighted for this, but never mind. It's a fantastic game, nevertheless. Didn't play it back in the day, though, but I have seen Live Weapon 3 the most. But we have no time limit here. Never played Die Hard or 1 or 2 on the Mega. Only the PlayStation 1. Right, so you remember where to go. <laughs> so you remember where to go. Like also, you can actually kick them, which saves you bullets. Well, that's the most appalling start now, isn't it? Let's start again, shall we? Right, so we've got nine clips. Each clip has five bullets. Amazing shroom. Is it loud enough? Is it too loud? Let me know. Now you can also, you can also upgrade your weapon. We've got to find it first. Big shot, yeah. Oh, we're having a good start, aren't we? Oh, well, that wasn't the greatest start. Bullets are very quick. Not just from you, but them as well. <clears throat> it is a little bit on the fast side. There's quite a lot of games on the media that are fast. But yeah, quite a few of them were made by Titus. And uh, yeah, Titus of Fox, and of course, Runaway Thomas is also very fast. But yeah, I think uh, Runaway Thomas is faster than Titus of Fox. Um, I suppose Blues Brothers is also quite quick as well. Now 
There's a big shark, isn't there? Yeah, blue spine is also very quick, yeah. <clears throat> right. Let's skip all that and keep going. Keep it going, Jamie, keep it going. Uh, yes, uh, ocean, yeah. <clears throat> Really is good. It's tough though. <coughs> I mean, it's copy <coughs> very quick on that fire button. And you have your usual bottomless pits. <coughs> I just jumped into. <coughs> my log got fog in my throat. Okay. That's an upgrade. It's also very difficult to get. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, made by Ocean. Yeah, even though it's got the cover of Living Weapon 3 on the box, it's actually based on all of them. <clears throat> Pretty much. Uh, there's a heart, so that will finish a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, even look like the bottom of the screen is a lot of ocean. Yes, I see what you've done there. Yes, there's a lot of ocean. <laughs> yes, very clever, yes. Yeah, sometimes it had the creator underneath it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't, oh, yeah. Thought it was what you meant at first. Right, so bullets should be stronger now. Um... No time in it. Okay. Now you can actually switch between characters in the menu screen. I think they have different skills. Music lose cannon. This sounds like Rihanna. Please stop the music. Rihanna? Really? <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what. To, I'm assuming one of them will probably jump further or run faster. It's gonna be something like that. Going down there means I have to go around again. Hello to Marseille! Good to see you! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing? How's life treating you? Yeah, oh yes, Hudson Hawk, of course! I did play that after I streamed it, I did play that again! And I got a lot further, but I'm struggling on stream with that one. Amazing, it doesn't kill them. The explosion doesn't kill them. Uh, but yeah, that's all. That was also yeah, exactly. It was also ocean. You are correct. <coughs> right. Approach with caution. No point going down there, energy's good. Um, having my ups and downs, today was at least an update. Well, that's good. Sorry to hear about the downs though. Um, Mondays, down days. Off Fridays, often up days. Yeah, no one likes Mondays. Ask Garfield, he hates them. So do I. Not too bad at a job you love though, but it's a job you hate or dislike. Not a good thing. But yeah, hopefully things are improving for you. Some wasted ammo here. You never know what's gonna be around the corner. There you go, not professionally done. Um hello Karen, hello, good to see you, Karen Roberts, good to see you. Hi ho from Turkey Stuff America. Of course, yes, Thanksgiving was yesterday, wasn't it? Welcome, Karen. 
But no worries, I guess the same first time Neb. I love the fact that Mr. Sweeney's house is saying now, because he knows what I'm going to do. Yes, we're going to give Silkworm a try in a minute. Uh, yes, that will stop a sleepy Swedish. Now, I have got past this next stage, but it's so difficult because you're, you're above ground all the time. And it's a little bit like, I suppose, in a way, Ninja Gaiden. And when you get hit, it pushes you back. You get knocked back slightly. And if you're near a cliff edge, you get shot, it pushes you back, down you go. The bridge can't fly. And also, falling from a small height also drains your energy. And it's only a little bit as well. Find the lamp posts. Uh, yeah. So, what's your next game they want to buy? Any system? Good question. I have got a few waiting to arrive. Uh, some new, some old. Not going crazy though. Oh, see that harmed him. Uh, there's still loads I want to buy though. Um, I mean, I still want to get Wings of Death. I still want to get Necronom. I want to get Monkey Island 1. Or Secret of Monkey Island 1. As a box. Um, I also want to get... Ha! Um, huh! um, it came from the desert. Um, I want to get a big box version of Denaris or Catechist on Amiga. Um, what was that? No, don't believe that. Oh, my lord. Oh. Um, yeah, loads, buddy. Um, I mean, 64 games are still quite cheap to buy nowadays, depending on which one you're getting, of course. Uh, just an F... You're selling your entire collection. Why are you? Why? Due to unemployment. I'm sorry to hear that. You throw a knife, my lord. Yeah, Necronom, I love that. Love it. Let's hope we get a bit further than that. Right, we'll do a quick, a quick speed run. Basically, I got them in no wet, no life, didn't I? That's the problem. Um, what else do I want? Um, I'd love to get a big box version of Silkworm. Don't have a big box version. Uh, I want a bo big box version of Yo Jo. That I also finished this year for the first time. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that. All right, cool. But yeah, that's not good though. Danny Gavitt's like Bill Cosby in this game. I've never actually tried it before. I don't think I have. No. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I had it on DVD, but found it a few months ago. Saved it for Thanksgiving. Oh, Plain Strange and Orbill. Of course, yes, it was based on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Fantastic film, that is. Seen that many, many times. I regret getting rid of my old stuff. Places and games, Places and 2, etc. Magazines. Yeah. I used to have loads of magazines. Really did. All right, let's go for it. Yeah, I did have a lot of input with the magazines, the games. Yes, we did. But there were the occasional ones that did go astray. Pain, isn't it? Definitely not in pain, but it would have been. It got shot. Fimbo's Quest. No, I don't have boxes of that. Good game though. I think I prefer to use it on the CD4, and I didn't include that on one of my vlogs, so I had to remove it or copyright for it. I wasn't allowed to use it. But good though. Right. It's a real strange jump. This one. It's a real pixelated one. Sort of got, like walk off the platform. Yeah, like that. Not easy though. Right, way low on ammunition though. Yes, this is a much faster way of doing it, but we're not getting the ammunition. Uh, hopefully you can buy it all back, Karen, once you get a new job. Well, hopefully. It's not good though. If you don't get a job before you sell the games, that is. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Now, 
wish you all the best, Karen. Um, you have to play. <laughs> I do. If I want what I want, I've got to pay a lot to get it. Y yes, that is definitely a reality. But yes, I'm still going to do it. I will always do it. But in a much controlled way, of course. Having a much higher wage, I will be able to. Well, I've got to be good, but I must save a little bit, and I will be able to. I will do that. I've got to move out at some point. It will happen one day. A bit like night shift. It will happen. Uh, bought a monster 150 euro lot for Marvin. Back in the... Right, hold on. This is a much better go, though, Jamie. It's much better. Um, Euro Mac. Mar back in a few years. Hundreds of titles. Night, everyone. Take it easy. Kite Six G. Have a good one, buddy. Right, this is better. Saving your whole games collection because of unemployment is definitely heartbreaking. Yeah, not half. Life is so damn cool sometimes, can't it? I hope it gets better for you. I really hope it doesn't get to that point. I wish you, a f I wish you success. But take it easy, cut it's G. All these demos with yet to be OZ. Yeah, that is an expensive PlayStation One if you have it. But yeah, some of those games I've got. I'm not fortunately not as much as I used to. But some of them are very, very good. Some you might have seen. I did that demo video quite some time ago. That's the way to do it! So much better that time! There you go! Okay, I didn't collect everything, but I didn't take a single hit of damage that time. There we go. Keep your chin up. Yeah, you'll be fine. I have every hope for you. Yeah, wish you all the best. Do people make hacks on me again? I have to admit, I'm not a fan of hacking. I never have been. Um, I just feel it ruins games. I know some people have done it. I, I, I don't like it. I'm really not a fan of it. We love the challenge of the games. And you've got to hack it and make it easier. You're losing the challenge. You're making it easy. But of course, I can understand why some people do. If you look at the bugs, for example. But yeah, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> it sounds like a grouch, doesn't it? No, I'm not a grouch. <laughs> yeah. I should be bed as well, Kite. Yeah, blame me. <laughs> Sorry about it. Um, yes. We could still come and try in a moment. It's very, very late for you, Jamie. Did it twice now. Well, at least you've got a few more chances this time. Um, and you also get guys with flamethrowers. Did they really? Really? That's crazy. I suppose, yeah, I suppose that is allowed. <laughs> it's like me editing my own videos, I suppose, isn't it? I can't remember. That's an instant kill. Of course it's an instant kill, Jane. Of course it is. Right. Climb down. Right. Jump on top of there. Mode and debug menus. Sort of. That made me easier with E S E F. Yeah, special editions. Yeah. I can, un I can understand why they did it, but it was also a special edition for Pidia. I don't actually know what the difference is. I don't ha um, I've got the small box version as well as the big box version, and I'm assuming the small box version is a special edition, but it doesn't say it on the box. But yeah, I have played it, I just don't know what the difference is. It just seems exactly the same. But yes, Assassin, a huge change. Call it X, only a few minor changes. Made the game shorter, we start with more weapons. Oh, that's, it was nice. Oh, okay. Right. It, that, it, it is. Yes, it is quite confusing, this one. But yes, if you get pushed back, you're going to fall into the drink. It's inevitable, really. Like that, you just you're not really prepared for that. Where'd that come? See, I shoot it off the screen. Where'd 
where do you come? Oh, is that like a production line around here or something? Where are you coming from? My lord. Uh, maybe it would be difficult though, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, well, hacking probably is. Unless you're good at it, you know how to do it. Oh, my lord! Yeah. Maybe so. Jamie, you're wasting too many ammunition here. Leave a weapon. Weapons are limited. Respawn point. We do need a respawn point. Probably have found one too. Around here somewhere. Yes, there you are. Oh! Don't believe it. Yeah, that is... I can see what you mean. Oh, you see! That's the classic moment. You get pushed back. Right. Hold on a minute. It is brutal, yeah. <laughs> That's retro for you. Right. There you go. Right. Yeah, it's very confusing, this one. Oh, you see? The classic knockback. Yeah, it's tough. Practice, 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 Jamie. Uh, just in case you might have forgotten, I can duck... You can duck in this game. You can't shoot while crouching, unfortunately. Yeah, quite a lot of games do that. Yes, you have the ability to crouch, but you can't fire in the process. Yeah. Yeah, blind jumps, especially with bottomless pits below you. Yeah, a bit like um, when I played uh, Elvira. Oh, it's disc, isn't it? Well, there we go. That's just proof. Disc works, plays well. These discs, yes, they don't last forever, but that was brilliant. That worked brilliantly, that one. So, well done to the floppy disc that time. Right, okay. So, as promised, let's give this another go. Because Swedish House is very tired, so you need to get some sleep. But let's just see how far we can get as a Jeep in Silkworm. Yes, shall we? Why not? Um, it worked. Yes, yes, it did. Brilliant. And I must do some more videos based on it, really. I've got episode four to do. Uh, right, okay. Discs don't quit. Well, some of them do. Some of them. I mean, some of these discs are like 30 plus years old and still working brilliantly. Yeah. One day, one day, one day, one day. Yes. That would be an amazing achievement, of course. Okay. But yes, I got this on the CG4 as... Well, I was going to say box. It's not technically box on the CG4, is it? Donated by Rusty James. But yeah, I would like to give a big box version on the Amiga. I think um, Andrew Dubai also has this one. I think he does. Right. Uh, silk. Silk. Which features no worms whatsoever. Again, another confusing title. Uh, I'm blind as a bat. Can't see you. Where are you? Silkworm. There we go. Uh, Silkworm, you've got a box version of this, haven't you? I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. The same, um, design as... The same case design as, um... Catechus or Denaris. I'm sure you have. I've got a box version of Swiv. Yes, I have that. Jeep Challenge, yes! It's simple, isn't it? Just complete the game with a Jeep. Anyone can do it. Yes, Swift is there. Yes, of course, I completed that on live stream, wasn't that? It was last year, wasn't it? Now, I might be copyrighted on this as well, but it doesn't matter. It's a, not a problem. Uh, is that right? Find out soon enough with me. Yes, there you go. That's a shot. This game is fantastic. It is so good. But it's easier with a helicopter. Just we, that's the easiest way of doing it. Are you f tough people require and request tough challenges like this. But I'm going to give it a go. But yes, it's still level 3, which is the problem. I haven't got past level 3 without taking a death. And of course, the Jeep has so many disadvantages. Being on the ground is one of them. These pads can actually kill you. You've got to jump over them. But also, you can't use auto fire because if you're going to use auto fire, then you can't jump, and that is a problem as well. <laughs> Fools try it. Awesome people request it. 
mean, yes, you can use auto fire like that, but then I can't jump. So no, I'm not gonna do that. And yes, some things are in the air, you can't reach it, so. And of course, you can lose your weapons when you die. Yes, you don't want that. <clears throat> I mean, it's one of these games, it has to be played loud. I can't play this game with no sound effects or very low volume. It's got to be loud. It has to be loud and proud. It's just fantastic on my headphones. And I still can't pick a favourite. Out of Squid and Silkworth, I still think this just edges it. But it's a very tough task. They're both fantastic games. I suppose more memories with Silkworm than Swift. But I pretty much played them both at the same time. And yes, when we got this one originally, it was again by one of our friends. We was very lucky back in the day. Uh, Silk One Jeep is harder than blood money. Ooh, uh, maybe. I can't get further in blood money. But in, if blood money had a Jeep, yes, that would make it extremely difficult as well. I have got to level four quite a few times. I just can't get past level four. The trouble is, you don't have money at the start. It goes straight to the planet. It costs you. F it costs four hundred. You don't have four hundred. You have two hundred. There's only two planets you can go. So yeah. You know this game. Ah! You know this game, yeah. I know it too. And I know you as well. You're another awesome dude, right? Yes, you are. Frank Vega. Right, crucial, Jamie. We need one more upgrade, and then keep it. Some weapons you can shoot, and some you cannot. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why these noises come out of my mouth. It's just panic, I suppose. It's all about panicking. How I survived that, Jamie! All that, mate. So I need a second level. You're panicking already. Right, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Mm. Cat runs away. Well, your cat or mine? Mine ran away ages ago. Actually, no. Probably he's still behind there. Just but you're still there. But imagine, imagine blood money with a jeep. Can you imagine? Uh, one level done. Yeah, I can't remember how many there are. About nine. And yeah, when you lose weapons, even this one is difficult because it's very angry. It takes too long. It's very angry at you. When it's angry, it shoots you a lot more. And that's very difficult to penetrate when you've got weak weapons. There we go. Now we're talking. You are talking. Oh, it's all four, Jamie, not level three. Level four. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, these kill you as well. That's really poor at play, I think. They should have let you just drive over those. That's fine. Not be killed by them. There we go. Two done, yes. Fairly happy with this start. Let's not go a little bit crazy, Jamie. But Incidental Soccer went quite well at the start, and I, it got a little too crazy, didn't it? You can't really compare this to Central World of Soccer, Jamie. You're two completely different things there. Well, of course, you can fire backwards. You turn the turret the other way round. Yeah, God, I can't fly backwards. Only the tank, tank, jeep can do it. Yes, Jasper the cat. He's probably still there. I believe so. I'm gonna be tactical. I'm gonna try and be tactical. Wait for the wear off. There you go. Your mines and minesweeper. This one. So many mines. Look at that thing go. Going well! Pure skill! It's going quite well, actually, my time. I don't like the jumping, though. It's up and fire. Jump. You're a superb star, Gumdio. <laughs> oh, you're a fool! 
Oh, we could request a completion of a Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but a nice fall. You're an awesome fall. In a nice way, fall. Now you fools are trying, right? Yes. Right, this is the key. This is the, this is the, this is the difficult moment. You're getting good at this. Thank you very much, Sean. I've never got past this one without dying. I don't think it's ever happened. I've got close a number of times. But it really does increase difficulty when you lose your weapon. And some levels, you just don't get any... Sh shields. Oh my god, this is terrifying to this house. And once you've got a decent rating, yes, you keep your weapons. <laughs> I'm in there somewhere. What's going on here? How on earth did I survive that? Yeah, in any game, really. Come on, Joe, we can do this! Gee whiz! Look at it there! Don't lose it now, Jamie. This is good. This is going well. Woohoo! Never done that level without dying! That's a first! My lord! There we go! Going for a long play! My lord, that would take some beating if I can do this as a long play! Boom boom and some pals! I never say that, apart from every time I do. Right, okay. I actually got here with maximum weapons. Just don't get a little bit too carried away, Jamie, because I know you do. That's happened many, many times in the past. You keep your hopes up, don't you? Yes, you do. But you don't get many lights, do you? You can only get one more additional life. That's all you get. Poo. Oh, mind you, it's a bit of danger though, isn't it? This is deadly as spikes. Well, that was a good achievement, I have to admit. Thank you, Borodash. I appreciate that. Oh, I don't believe it. No chance. No chance. No chance. You can't get through that with basic weapons. I need that weapon for literally another 10 seconds. But there we go. You get to a certain point, you can't use any more additional continues. Which is another thing that goes against you. They knew what they was doing, didn't they? They knew what they were going to do. Um, Three credits. That is, yes, that is true. Ah! Oh. That is true though, yes. Weak weapons really changes things, doesn't it? It's a whole new game. It's like playing Shadow of the Beast with no punch, you know? You kinda need that, really. It's like playing R Type with no force. You kinda need that. Now you can't make this character angry, only the tank gets angry. This will take as long as it takes. I don't think you can make him angry. This is really, really time consuming. Now in the CG4 version, this helicopter is absolutely tiny. It really is, not much bigger than yours. Duh. Come on, all day doing this. I'm just trying to defeat the second boss in front of X with a pea shooter. Woohoo, 
It took forever! My thumb is indentated on the joystick. Hello. Uh, Tecmo knew how to make a tough shooter. So the side notes in DMA design. Thank you for doing that as well. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I still can't believe I did that. Yes, of course, I haven't finished the game yet. It's just a really, really nice moment, the fact that you was here as well to see it. It's just, yeah. Okay, it's only the third level complete, but I've had so many attempts, you have no idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need weapons, we need now. No! Come on. Up here. Five done, you're taking notes. Right, twin. But these don't actually fire you, they're there for one reason, one reason only, to block your bullets. That's all they do, they don't actually fire back. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> oh, I backfired too f soon, or went back too far. Oh, he's gonna get angry now, isn't he? No, he's gonna get he's gonna get angry now. Oh. What level was that? Five? Right, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Carry on regardless. Right, three continues. I mean completing it is one thing. Doing it without using continue is a whole new thing. You've gotta use continues in this in this attempt. You just have to. Level six, was it level six? Oh, it says at the bottom, of course it does. Well, it's six. Yes, it does change. <coughs> yes. I need a shield. Yeah, some levels don't have any at all. It's gone all wrong now. Well, now you show up. What was you like just now? Level, this is level six, yeah. I tried. I tried. I mean, you don't lose weapons once you've got a decent rating, but it's just trying to get that rating. Once you've got it, you're alright. You won't lose them. It takes quite some time to get to that point. This is just it's just danger from every angle, isn't it? Right, okay. Oh uh, my lord, there's no way on this earth, Jamie. Can we talk about this first? Well, there we go. This is a, like a real war, yes. And I'm not going to give up without a fight. Right, okay. <laughs> um, um, it has... Ooh, about nine? I think I said eight earlier. I think it's about nine or ten, something like that. Not that many, really. But, yes, you can use continue until you get to a certain point. I think it's, it must, must be more than that. It's probably about twelve. Let's say 12. I don't think so. No, it's got to be more than that, Jamie. A lot more than that. What are you thinking? No, 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 no. Ignore that one. That's wrong. That's all wrong. It's about 12, I think. If it's 8, Jamie, we've nearly, nearly done it. 12. I think so. We'll go with that. I couldn't shoot it. Right. Is it 12? 
don't know why I said evil. Well, too. Right, get rid of this thing. Um. Great. It's gonna get angry, isn't it? He's angry. I had no choice, I had to use auto fire, I would not have won that confrontation. Of course, you can't jump like that. Right, okay. Continue will not, well, yeah, this is the first you can get. You can't continue from any other level past this point. And I can't reach that power. Yeah. Right, that's fine, we've got there. That's the fine, that's fine, that is fine. I can't reach those. I need a power, please. Right. Square it off. Jamie, that's bad! That's bad. I think it's the first time I see Jamie cheating with auto fire. <clears throat> I would never have won that confrontation. Mm. Right. I don't think it's cheating though. <laughs> oh dear. No, I ain't going anywhere. It's all gone picked on, hasn't it? It was starting off so well. It did! It did go well! It signed off well! No continues. Ho! Oh, um, I think it's... Um, oh, it's 11 levels! Right, okay. Uh, it is built into the stick. It's fine. Nasty. Tregard style. What do I do? What do I do? Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased to get to four without dying, though. That was a good achievement. Right. What do you want to see? I'll do one more. <laughs> one more. All right, okay. You have to, you, that really took some twisting in my arm, didn't it? Okay, one more. You see, that took an awful lot of effort there, didn't it? Sean P just says one more. Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay. Not he not Helly, no. No, no, no. I've got I finished it with the Helly a few times. I've, that one's ticked off the list. I mean, this, this, if you're playing Swift with the, the, the tank, that's not as bad. It's certainly a lot more doable. You get more weapons, and of course, being top-down view, it's a lot more easier of doing it. You fire an angle as well, and you lock it in one direction, and move around in another direction. <laughs> Love that sound. Ugh. No! Yes! It is, <laughs> it is terrifying. Too much at stake here. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, good to see you, Venomiga. You're a superstar. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Thank you. There you go! That's the easy bit. Don't blunder. No, we're blunder on level one. No. If you die on level one, you might just restart. There's no point continuing from there. They need such so many hits though, don't they? <clears throat> Nah, this is a warm-up, yes. That was a dummy run, that one. So good! <laughs> yeah, when I first got this game, like I say, it was one of our friends that copied for us. We didn't actually, didn't actually realise it was an arcade port. I didn't realise. But it's, it's, I'd say it's better than the arcade. I, think I, really, I really do think so. I have played the arcade version. She really couldn't get anywhere. The two buttons. I really struggle there. You have to press that second button to fire downwards. This, one button is enough. The only thing I'd like to change about this game, the only thing, is not losing weapons when you die. That's the only thing I'd like to change about it. Apart from that, I can't fault it. <clears throat> That's the killer. That's the killer in most shooters, when you lose your weapons. <clears throat> not, so, not so bad if you're in the air, of course. <clears throat> but on the ground... <clears throat> Imagine having a jumping car like that. Like what you see, first class port. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you all the patrons. Really means a lot. <coughs> My lord. Ah! That's close, Jamie. Too close. Took the paintwork off your uh, Yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, any game, really. But yes, yeah, our type, not too bad. I'm coping up. I like our type. I like that game. I like it a lot, I do. Yeah, losing weapons on level 5 is quite tough. You don't tend to get as many upgrades. It's mostly speed ups. Can't be a bit silkworm. Good to see you, Ox. Hope you're well, buddy, way. Buddy, 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 way. Better than RK for sure, yeah? You agree with me? <clears throat> Superb. I did wonder if I might be... <gasps> wasn't sure if I'm going to be agreed on that one. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. The same as Pang. Pang is, again... I... It's just so well done. It really is superb. Is it better than the RK? It's pretty much level pegging, I'd say. The difference is you start with more weapons. Weapons. Life, you wally. More what? Lives. You start off with more lives. Arcade okay, version, I think you have three. Which, of course, makes sense. Because, of course, they want to make some money out of this. Start off with five or six lives. You can get far, aren't you? Phew! In Hybris, if you don't take a full hit, you die and lose an upgrade. See, I don't mind one downgrade. One is okay. Xenon 2, you keep your weapons exactly after death. Exactly. It's quite rare, isn't it? <clears throat> I mean, yes, you've got to be punished at some point. Just kindly. <laughs> in a reasonable way, in a reasonable manner. Right. 
add some of that. Sometimes you can't even see yourself. I don't think so. Oh, I don't know where I was. I was in there somewhere. Oh, look at this pathetic weapon. It's like dying in Rainbow Island. You had three... Rainbows, you have fast paced rainbows, and you die, and you go back to one rainbow. It's kind of like that. It's like, ugh, look at this slow paced pew 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 weapon thing you did. It's like that. It's just like, ugh. Jasper's leaving the room now. You can't take it anymore. get angry, isn't it? That's what it does. He shouldn't get angry. I've got less bullets now. He shouldn't get angry. He should be happier. Peace Loop Cannon. Rainbow Islands was power-up de dependent. Yeah. Dying on a boss battle and losing all your weapons. Especially in Monster Islands. I have actually completed that level with only one single rainbow once. The boss, shall I say. You're only going to be down to one rainbow on that Dracula boss. <clears throat> Blimey, how long did that thing take? No, it's just not going to happen here. There's too much chaoticness going on here. We can't take the assignment. <laughs> no. I just can't move. Right, continue. We'll take that. Um... Uh, side hit downgrade weapon, cockpit hit you die, basically, yes. I wouldn't say Pang is better than the arcade, but the Amiga version is close to arcade perfect. I mean, graphically, it's pretty much the same. So. I mean, yeah, this one is different. Yes, your helicopter, and I'm assuming the Jeep, is quite a, a difference in the way it looks. No. Hold on. Hope you're well, Bonsai Master, by the way. No! Can you actually go down the side of this thing? Oh, no, I don't think you can. Um. Your favourite shmup on the Amiga? I like to tinker around before the last two upgrades. That was my fault, that one. That was all my doing, that one. So, <laughs> doing bed, no worries, he. Uh, uh, it is fantastic, yeah. Released in 1988, developers thought of the kind of details. Right, I'm going to do this. Let's do this. It's weird how sometimes your first go is always your best go, isn't it? Keep trying, and you tend to do worse than you did on the first go. It's kind of like that. I never understood that. Because you get your hopes up, don't you? <sighs> right. Take it easy, buddy. Have a great weekend. I haven't got a choice, I'm going to have to. Even with auto-fire, you just don't have the bullets to do it. 
Oh, that's it. Oh, my. Happens to you all the time. Australian bouncing helicopters. Yes, I've never seen a bouncing helicopter in real life. How in games? What were they thinking? Sir, I've got a new way. I've got a new design for a helicopter. Oh, yes. What is that, then? Let's make one bounce. A bouncing helicopter? Yes, why not? Indeed, why not? Yes. Flying through the air is old school. Let's go a bouncing helicopter. Right, I'm slightly outnumbered here. Very slightly. Right, one down, two to go. Hold on, hop, ah, right. Twin! Let's get a twin, shall we? Um... Jamie! <laughs> what a silly thing to do! Ugh, I wasn't going anywhere, was I? Right, last credit, and we're putting it into the stream, shall we? No strike tomorrow, I might get my spectrum. Oh, really? Ty um. Well, I don't have a Spectrum yet, but I, I will have in the course in the future at some point. Wait for my Spectrum next. Again, isn't it? No, just a bit again. That's close again. I just don't know if this is doable. It's not doable. It's just not doable. It's not doable. It's just a random parts of the game, isn't it? It just features once, and that is it. It doesn't feature again. It's all gone peak time. Yeah, it's all gone peak time. But I'm still absolutely enjoying playing this game. <sighs> Keep the weapon, Jamie. Don't lose the weapon. So I don't quite understand the wave. It, um, because enemies tend to appear at different times of the level. I suppose it all depends on how many enemies you destroy to determine on when they appear on the screen. Because last time I had three of them. Now I've got just the one. Right. Oh. Lord, bad mistake. Uh, just turn central heating up, cold up north, is it? I'm boring, I've got two streaming lights staring at me. I am trying not to use the heater. I've only used it a few times. The trick is to never die. That's a good trick. That is a good trick. Now, back in the day, magicians never wield their magic, did they? But. We all know the secret to this magic trick is don't die. Uh, we need to get a manual, really. That will solve that. Oh, it's really nice I'm not working tomorrow. Of course, I love the job. It's so much better than my last job. But I do miss having time off. There's videos I would like to do. There's some I've been meaning to do for absolutely ages. 
and I'm gonna try and get two videos done this weekend. I'm gonna try! But one day isn't enough. I mean, that's, um, my last upload took five days because I was doing so much editing, so much Photoshop as well. It takes absolute ages. Because basically, I had one day off. So I started it on Sunday, and then Monday I was recording a little bit, then going to work and coming home and recording another little bit, and then Tuesday doing it all again. That's how it seems to go these times. You can only die after you have won. Uh, the mountain jeep is actually a customised Impala from the 90s. Didn't know that. There you go. Right, we've got good weapons too. I can't get them. They're too high up. Right, okay. We are doing well now. Don't get too overconfident. I don't know how my rating is doing. It's doing all right. We shouldn't be losing too many weapons now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not using the heater. Only a few times and only in short bursts. I am not going to use it. It's going to be difficult though because I don't like the cold. Who does? I know David Jensen quite likes the cold actually. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to try and not use it. Only in short amounts. Pooh! Missed it! It's fine. It's fine. I can't see! Oh, I was so close too. Back to poo weapons again. Me, where are the shields? Where are the shields? I need a shield down here. There's one. Can't reach it though. Right. Come here. Wait, how do you know? No one over there. No. Of course, every time another one features again, it goes through an additional upgrade. It fires more often. Well, not yet! Not yet! I mean, this is a difficult level. And of course, you can't continue beyond this point. Can you please die? Thank you very much. Way up troll shield, yes! <laughs> Jamie says never die. Come on, Jamie. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There oh my lord. Is that it? No credits. Never mind. Never mind. The continue goes on. The wait goes on, is what I meant to say. There you go. Thank you everyone that tuned in. You can do it. I can't do it. <laughs> See, this should be a stream on its own. Just, just keep playing it all day and just master it. Thank you very much. I might start doing that in the future. I don't know when, if I do, but I might do. I might just just, just do random bonus streams. Just focus on one game. Just keep trying it and trying it and trying it. I mean, yes, if you get bored, people are going to go away. I don't know. Some people might enjoy watching the same game over and over. I, I don't know. I just don't know. But sometimes it's the way to do it, I think. To try and master these games. Yeah. Right. Should we go for one more request? What do we want to go for? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh dear. True. <laughs> I don't think you'll watch me play a US gold game continuously, I don't think. Right, uh, what do you want to see now? Do one more go, game, and we'll move on. Thank you very much. I'm thirsty, I'm really thirsty. Mind you, I was. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I need to practice that one. No Flintstones, no. Won't play Flintstones. 
Um. I was going to play Saint Dragon actually. Which is here. Why did that quick go? Now this is interesting because this version I've got here doesn't play. It won't play on WHD load. And I've actually got this well, I've actually got three versions of this. Now these discs don't work. I've tried them. <coughs> is it that bad, is it? <coughs> now this one doesn't play. I'm pretty sure it doesn't play. <coughs> My lord, Jamie. Unbelievable. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to crash. This one needs fixing. Judging by the, the... Right. Now this is interesting. I found this out earlier on today. So anyway, that doesn't work. The, wo the version on WHD Load doesn't work. But yeah, this is interesting because this is, of course, my original version, which is here. This is this, which, of course, is the original disc. Try this out. Right. Backwards. And then this, oh, is it going to do, is it going to do it again? This happened. And I thought, this is an original disc. This isn't a copy. This really threw me off. I thought, is this for real? Is this actually an original disc which has a crack show? But you saw, that was an original disc bought from a shop. And it had this. Have you ever seen that before? Uh, yes I have. Very basic though. It was a great tune. It's fantastic. But I've never seen a crack show on an original game. Taken out of its box. I've never seen that before. I had a very cheap microwave meal, and I don't know why, but I didn't eat very much of it. I only had half of it. Don't know why. Every, every time I do a stream, I don't tend to eat very much. I guess I get too nervous, I suppose, of whether the stream's going to work. This is another game. I love it. I absolutely love this game. Always have them. But I, I do struggle with it, and I'm still trying to master this game. But the second level is a real problem. No, this is an original game. This is an original one bought from a shop. And it had a cracked disc. I've never seen it before. But yeah, this one... This version doesn't work. I've got two of them. Same as Z-Out or Z-Out. doesn't work. I just kept, just kept buying it again and again. Eventually I got one that works. There we go. This is a crack. It's weird, isn't it? No cheats, though. It just has a cracked screen. Right, give it a quick go. And we're in the screen, shall we? It's in shot. That's perfect. This is one of a disc. But there we go. Out of this one and Saint, uh, it's a Saint Breed then. Dragon Breed. I've always preferred this one. Um, I would have guessed the original game failed, so they copied over it. Maybe, yeah. Maybe so. I mean, there are a few games, original discs that I've seen in the recent years that when you take the label off, there's actually a different game underneath it. Maybe even a, a, a cover disc. And that's, again, in the original disc and the original box. Which is strange. You know, yeah? Me too. But difficult, though. Yeah, this... You might be able to hear the Amiga loading here. But yeah, it's running well. But again, it's a very old disc, though. That's one thing, though. But yeah, basically, if you get hit on the face, the head, basically, you die. Hit on the tail, you will not survive that. Right, I'm not going to stay with that. That's a terrible display. It's an interesting to get yourself on the scoreboards. <laughs> not on the boards like that. But that's the arcade version, isn't it? Or is it the Mega version you're referring to? Like that, yes. Um... Also, the C4 version is also very good. I don't know if that's in shot though, Jamie. No, it's not. It's not. I thought it was, but it's not. Not far though. Yes. It's pretty much like uh, Ninja Warriors in terms of looking through it through a, a wide screen. Uh, yeah. Saint Dragon, this game used to drive me nuts with difficulty. I never was able to beat it. I've never beaten it. 
Uh, level wise, I think he's only got about five or six levels. Not very many, but level two is a killer. An absolute killer. Quite a lot of games has a difficult level two, and this also does have a very difficult level two. But yes, it, I understand it can drive me a little bit crazy. Again, never played arcade version on an official arcade. I have played it on Ant Stream, only briefly. But yeah, not on a proper arcade. But anyway, as I was saying, but I was rudely interrupted. But yes, if you get shot on the head, then you die. Shot on the tail, you don't die. But you also use the tail to protect yourself. Also kill enemies with the tail. But what you can do with some enemies, you can sort of wrap yourself into a ball. Protect your, protect your character that way, and sometimes that's the best way of doing it. Like that. It doesn't protect you from everything, but suddenly it's so many hits and die. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know, uh, Heath. I haven't got quite as much time off this time, but I have got a vlog ongoing. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few videos that are unfinished. If I do, I mean, yes, the last one went quite well, it's done quite well, but of course, I had quite a lot of problems. And some of them were quite painful, of course, if you saw. No tree, though, I haven't got a tree, I got rid of it. Right, oh, that's shield, isn't it? Yes. We know we have parallax, we do indeed, Mr. Gumdio. I've got this from the old days, got it from, again, the same shop, which is Computer World in Maidstone. Uh, the Kickstarter was, of course, not overly expensive. I can't remember what I paid for this one, this box. But yeah, never finished it. I need to make a hammer beer of him as well. Right, boss battle. Basically, you've got to shoot its head off. Even headless, it still attacks you. The Mega Ball, yeah. The bosses are also very difficult. They really are. There you go, boo boo pow! Uh, I've never tried the arcade version though. Are both versions similar? I mean, the screen's bigger. Um, yeah, I mean, the sprites are, are slight, I think, are slightly bigger, of course. Um, I prefer this though. <laughs> Again, for the memories of it. I think. Um, Dragon Breed, however. Yes, the arcade version is better. The bigger version is okay, but it could have been so much better. And for IRM, they could have done a little bit on that one, I think. It's still a good game, though. Not as good as this. But yes, the arcade version of Dragon Breed is superb. Yeah, this level is tough. It always has been tough. Because of these random things. You don't really get a lot of warning. Because there's not really a lot on the screen that sort of gives you an idea. I think, okay, if I see that, I know this thing's going to happen quite soon. But it doesn't really sort of give you any sort of ideas. It just happens. Unexpectedly. Right. It's around here somewhere. I'm happy with that. So there you go, you wrap yourself into a ball and you're okay. Not from everything though. Yeah, a bit of issues with the stream or s Uh, 
uh, ultimate. Oh, that was close there. Uh, so the mini port is done really well. Like, yes, it is good. It is very good. Um, we just love. We just got a retro shop opening leads. Proper expensive. Oh, really? There's not many here in Kent, not that I'm aware of anyway. Uh, there are a few, but yes, they are quite small. But what they try and do is they try to cram so much in that small shop as they possibly can. And if you've got like three people in there, that's packed. That is a packed shop, you can't move. There's quite a social area as well. A lot of people tend to socialise over there, because you know, it's memories, I suppose. Killed me last time. Probably these. Oh, it was these. Yeah. Right. This next bit, isn't it? Right on it. Around here somewhere. I mean, even with all this firepower, it takes a lot of hits. What's your weekend plans, Nipshin? What are you up to? I'll give you the additional life. Alright, one back. Yes, you use the body to shield. But yeah, if it's an enemy that takes a lot of hits that hits you, then yes, it's not going to save you. One thing you'll notice about this game, a lot of things take so many hits to die, and if that flies into you, you won't be protected from that. Where are they selling him? Um, a thousand pounds for twelve hundred. Is that bot? Is it? This is what I like about this game. You can use the dragon's body as a shield. Retro game is always expensive, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately it is. Which does sort of ruin it a little bit. But yeah, I'm still going to keep doing it. But I just won't do it quite as often. But yeah, you, you can't shield yourself from one of these. Lord, I think I just got through that. Right, boss battle. That was tough. I mean, that's a really difficult second level. We're not done yet. Uh... Right, okay. Yeah, it's not... Mm. It's a bit of frame rate issues. But it's the same for my TV. It's not the stream, it's the same for me. But there's a lot going on here. So yeah, I do apologise about that. I mean, the boss battles in this game are quite time consuming. The blood money one, first level. Kind of like that. Uh, die, die, die. Why would you die? I think it, it splits or something. It oh my lord. We can plan. I'm going to play some God of War, Red and Rack. Mr. War has just finished that one actually. I heard a lot about that game. Is that on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5? PlayStation 5. I'll keep it until it comes back from holidays. Yeah, I heard it's good. Yes, I heard it's good. Oh, no checkpoint of boss battles though. I have got uh, God of War 1 and 2, I've also got the one on the PlayStation P, or PSP, hey! got 
not again. I got really, really far. But I just haven't gone back to it for so long. I've probably forgotten it all now. But yeah, when the PlayStation 1 came out, the PlayStation 2 came out, that was pretty much all I was playing. And yeah, I did complete a lot of games. But quite a lot of them, including the ones I talked about earlier on today, including Zone of the Embers, got really, really far. And then all of a sudden I just stopped playing it. And of course, going back to it now, it's been like 20 years since I last played that. I'm not going to remember what to do now. Same with God of War. Yeah, I don't know where I've got to now. So probably be better off to start over again. Of was it three on PSP? Oh, it's Crash, my lord. Anyway, people, I'm going to leave it as that, I think. Um, this ball doesn't need wings. It definitely doesn't. Good range of games today. Thank you very much. But yeah, I haven't played God of War for absolutely ages. It's been years. It's crashed. <laughs> there you go. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, I'll leave you be, people. I'm going to leave it as that. I've had a really fun time. Really have enjoyed it. Thank you all, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for the Patreons. And also thank you to the subscriptions. It's been a good one. We have enjoyed it. So thank you to Cat Boiler for the subscription. Uh, Bad Sid, thank you very much for your donation. It's very kind of you. Mr. Raw, thank you. Again, superb. Uh, Sean P, thank you for your donation as well. Uh, also followers on Twitch, uh, Lack Oak Key and VDV Jake the Dog. Also thank you for the follows. Going well. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That's really kind. But there we go. I'm going to have a... Yes, it was quite a long stream, wasn't it? But it's every once every two weeks. Yes. What's it come up with that for? No disc in there. Yeah. Still here, Mr. Spud. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much, Mr. Bonsai Master. Uh, great work, Jamie. Have a great weekend. You too. See you soon. Thank you, Stephen St. Goat. Happened with Interchange 2. Yeah, I broke two games today. Help to stop these crashes. Oh, yes. I, yes. I mean, of course, it's a very old system. But yes, I've got a few ideas for this Mega. I want to try and replace the case. I just think it needs a little bit of work. Uh, but overall, it just, it just needs a general clean, I think. Overall, I think it's a good system. But yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I'll cue the outro. But have a great weekend. And enjoy the football if you enjoy football. Good like England. Take it easy and cue the outro. Ciao, bye. Two crashes on the same night. Yeah, twice. I was actually on quite a good run, actually. Yes, I will get myself a new chair. What I might do is I might just, just leave the setup like this until I get it. I, mean, I suppose there's no real rush for it. But yeah, I've got to wait for my um, refund first. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to spend a bit more than £75. But also, thank you, everyone, that donated last stream. That is really kind of you to do that. That, of course, has gone towards it. But yes, it's not a, a big, big, important thing right now. But, because I can just do it like this. But when I get the new setup, chair, I'll put it back that way. Jamie, you're jibber-jabbing. Take it easy, and see you next time. Ciao, bye. Outro. Thank you, Gumdio. Mm -hmm.